Good morning. Hello, everyone. Happy, happy Monday. Oh my gosh, it's our new week. Hello, welcome in. It's great to see all of you. I love, love of love the near uh, wordplay. <laughs> It's so good. It's about to be ridiculous in here, Don. You're so right. Um, I had to pin that message because it was too good. Uh, okay, let me say hi to everyone. Shima, hi. Thank you so much for grabbing first. Marion, welcome in. Thanks for grabbing second. Efren, hello. Clay, Don, thanks for grabbing your seat. Uh, Astrid, hi. Looney, Chris, um, Simon, Kai, Manda, Leech, Dr. Mac Reaper, Spidey, Mia, welcome in. Bees, hello. Lee Chan, Flip. Uh, our ninja, hello, Exabel, Frankie, Solar, Yang, Egg, Hyatt, Sandwill, Chaotic, uh, El Siggy, hello. Long time no see you in a minute. It's, it's good to see you, Astrid. I hope you're doing well. Um, it must be nine o'clock, so true, Yang. <laughs> But how is everyone doing? Uh, I see John is here. Hello, John. Cami, hi. And Mr. Miso. Mr. Miso, of course, had to come say hello. Good morning. How are you? Are you tired? Y'all, I finally started sleeping with earplugs. I would always wake up in the morning at like 6.30 a.m. because Miso would like claw at my door. And okay, my door is open. He, he goes in and out of my room. He claws at my door though. Cause it makes noise to get my attention to wake me up because he's hungry i'm finally actually sleeping through that with earplugs and it's so nice i feel bad though because me so that has to wait longer to get food but he's fine he's okay um how many how many near puns before you receive a ban important information clay maybe you have to test that out <laughs> <laughs> Emma, hi. Uh, Evie, hello. Welcome in. Jay, thanks for grabbing your seat. Um, he is a smart boy. Okay, this is what he does. He will claw at my door. He like will claw at the hinges or just like the side of it, and then he looks at me. So he claws and makes a bunch of noise, and then like looks at me in bed, and I'm like, me so you know, you know what you're doing. You're too smart for your own good. You're a silly boy. Um, do y'all want to see the picture that I had of me still on the starting soon screen if you missed it? Look at him. Look at him just sleep. He's such a tired little baby. I took that like two years ago, I think. Back when I was still at home. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi Magic, welcome in. Sydney, hello. Thanks for having your seat. It's good to see you. Uh, Astrid, been through something life changing, both good and bad. Oh my god. Doing better now, though. I'm glad that you're doing better. I am doing good, though, Astrid. Um, I'm very, very excited to play Nier today. Um, we, if you missed any Nier streams, um, we are actually on playthrough B. And so I honestly cannot believe I made it through a whole playthrough within a week. But y'all, I was like. I still am. I I just can't stop thinking about this game. Um, and I have some theories that I would like to share when we get when we before we get into the game today. Um, yeah. Also, hi Nilla, welcome in. Hi Love First Bite. Uh Brandroid, hello, good morning. Your cow just stand in your head if she wants you to get up. Yeah, me still sometimes like walk all over my pillows. I may had to wake me up and he like steps on my hair. Um, hi, Breezy. Some, <laughs> some theories. I've, I messaged Breezy all of my theories and like all my questions. When was it? Was it like Thursday night? I think it was Thursday night. I feel so insane about this game. Um, my God. Also, hi, entertainment. Your bunny will jump up on you. Oh, to wake you up. Peace, does your bunny like, does your bunny sleep in a cage or anything or can they just run around? Also, hi, Solar Donuts and hi to you. Glicious, hello. Uh, Taxifar, hi. I have seen the new P3 reload trailer. It looks so good. We actually watched that, was that last Monday or was it on 
Wednesday or Thursday. I don't remember when it came out, but I know it came out last week. We watched it on stream. Okay, yeah, you can get off of me. Thank you. Uh-oh. I think he could smell my coffee. What are you doing? Excuse me. You're just gonna stand in front of me. Okay. Um, glad you stream on Mondays. I love my Monday streams. I feel like we can always catch up on what we did over the weekend. Oh my god, he's so... <laughs> yeah, if any of y'all did anything fun over the weekend, let me know. Um, I saw family this weekend, which was very nice. Uh, I went on a walk at, in a park by a beach. I saw people in white robes and they were performing a like a mass baptism in a lake. I was very shocked at that. <laughs> and I kind of just like quickly walked away. Um, what else did I do? I played a lot of Final Fantasy XIV and I listened to a lot of near music. Um, also, hi Chelsea! Chelsea, how are you? Nicholas, welcome in. Uh, Astral, hello! Yeah, he needs- he needs attention, he really does. See, he's... clawing at my curtains now, so... Um... Also, Looney, so true, so true. I love Freezy's voice, it's very, very calming. Um... The Church of Nier? Listen, I would- I would join the Church of Nier, to be honest. Hi, Rusty Cole. Sounds like another day in Wisconsin. Listen, that was that was the first time I've ever seen that here in Wisconsin. It was wild. Uh, Ryan, hello. Went to the Valorant Champions Grand Fina Finals this weekend. How was that? Did you have a lot of fun? I saw some people talking about it on Discord, and I think Kirsty, my friend of mine, Kirsty, was following that as well. See, I only used to play Valorant. I never really followed, like, Valorant esports. Um, Marion, you finished 16 yesterday! Oh my god, I hope you're recovering. Because it, it took me a while to recover from that ending, Marion. And I hope you liked it too. Uh, Flip, you also got through a lot of 16, nice. And you went to Costco. I almost went to Costco too. I hope you, um, got something good. Also, I agree. Freezy podcast when? Remember when Freezy and I were like, what if, actually this is mainly Freezy's idea. Freezy was like, what if we make a podcast of us just talking about Akechi the whole time? And I'm like, we could do that. We could literally talk about him for hours. Also, hi, Chris. How are you? Go seeing you finish Baldur's Gate 3. Don't know what to do with your life now. Okay, have you considered playing another playthrough? Because I know that there's like, I feel like there's a lot of replayability with Baldur's Gate 3. Because there's so many different choices you can do. Um, Astrid found interesting cute videos. Clip of the Jutsu Kaisen radio podcast. <gasps> Oh, okay, wait, Astrid, I think, I think I've seen some of those clips. But yeah, you can send me some of them. I feel like I remember watching some of those back when I was finishing up season one. Um, also, hi, Wizzy, welcome in. Anna and Ben. Wait, Ben is also streaming 16? Oh my god, right now? Or eventually. <laughs> because I feel like I need to watch that. I have watched Anna. I've watched Anna play some of it too. Um, hi Slum Village, welcome in. Um Ryan took pictures of so many of your favorite content creators there. I love that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um speaking of Valorant content creators, I watched one Valorant content creator before. What's his name? I think it's Shazam. I watched Shazam Ryan. I really like his streams. 
I don't know why I feel like they're very chill to hang out in, even though Valorant is a lot of times not chill at all. Um, <laughs> I saw him at the airport once too at TwitchCon. It was very awkward. Very awkward. Uh, also, hi, Sean and Cupid. Hello. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, Finish replaying Automata over the weekend. It's still a masterpiece. Have the urge to replay Replicant, which was your favorite for its characters. Okay, okay. Kai, I can't believe you finished replaying it. Because I think you started maybe like... I think I remember you were saying you were started it before I started my playthrough. I... For playthrough B, y'all, I want to take this slow, okay? Like, I feel like I rushed through playthrough A, and so with playthrough B, I kind of want to check out the side quests, um, just just to see what they're like. Take this with a, with a grain of salt, though, because I'm definitely one of those people who, like, says I'm gonna take things slow and do a lot of side quests, and then I just feel the urge to go straight into the main story stuff again. So... We'll we'll see what happens. But yeah, I, I think I want to do a few side quests today. Uh, hi, Seki, welcome in. Also, thank you for the follows. New podcast from Alana called Un Unhealthy Character Obsession. Literally just my life. <laughs> so. Also, hi, Pity Boy, welcome in. I have not played Persona 3, no. Uh, I'm planning on playing Reload, though, when that comes out next year. And Max, hi. I have not played Life is Strange either, but I have watched playthroughs of the second Life is Strange. And then I've seen some of the first Life is Strange too. Um, episode 1, Baby Girl Goro. Episode 3, Baby Girl Nights. What happened to episode 2? Maybe we, maybe we talk about Goro for the first two episodes, Freezy. <laughs> And default high. Oh my god. Also, Nicholas, no, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Please avoid all the spoilers that you need to. Uh, also, Chris, there are three playthroughs total to get like the true ending. Um, he tends to be slower anyway due to nine's play style. At least from what you remember. Okay. Yeah, with all that freaking hacking. Oh my god. Hi Schwartz, welcome in. Ready for more baby girl row? Yes, I can't wait. Episode 2 is Dimitri from Fire Emblem 3 Houses. <laughs> the game infests you, so we had to scrap it, okay. <laughs> you know, I always hear about Dimitri. I don't know if- okay, I played Fire Emblem 3 Houses for like an hour, maybe two hours. Off stream. When was this? Maybe this is in like 2021 and I never picked it up again, so I don't know if I met him at all. Um, 15 hours for a playthrough ace and too bad. Wouldn't consider a rush time, you don't think? Okay, okay. I think I ended playthrough A with 16 hours actually. Maybe I, okay, I probably just feel like I rushed it because I literally streamed for six or seven hours. Last week, each stream. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was like two days, two days of playing. Well, like three, two and a half days, I guess, because we did uh, Final Fantasy fourteen for half the stream on Thursday. Um, getting pelted with thunderstorms. That's right. There's a hurricane or tropical storm that's supposed to. Be in Florida sometime this week. My sister's also preparing preparing for that. So I'm hoping I'm hoping things aren't too bad. I hope it just stays like a tropical storm or something. Um Chris, you're going to Florida this week? Chris, there's a hurricane headed <laughs> to Florida. I don't know where exactly the path is, and I don't know where. You're going, Chris, but be careful, okay? I think it's supposed to make landfall like Tuesday or Wednesday. I think Wednesday, actually. Also, Kristen, hi, Kristen, how are you feeling? 
Thunder Nine's hacking super OP. Uh, got needs to be playthrough B in eight to nine hours with side quests. What if we fin? Okay, no. I was gonna say, what if we finish playthrough B today? We're not gonna do that. Okay, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to like. I want to draw this out as long as possible. Okay. <laughs> I want to stay in this near era. I love it so much. Um, supposed to be crossing the panhandle, but unclear what it does after that. Okay, okay. I know, I know, I literally just said we were taking it slow. This is my issue. This is my issue. I'm like, we're gonna take it slow. And then two minutes later, I'm like, we're gonna finish it today. Um. Uh, yeah, we might do another seven hour stream. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that's why I was singing, Kai, because on Thursday, I played about like two hours, two hours of playthrough B or route B so far. Um, and if it, if it took you like eight hours, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Hi, kitty cat. How are you? Happy Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. <clears throat> oh my god. What is going on with my throat today? Take your time with Nier so you can catch up in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my god. Wait, Mando, where are you in fourteen? You finish ARR, right? I remember that. Um. Because I was there with you. Okay, I remember that. <laughs> Y'all, I played, I played a lot of 14 this weekend, and literally, the only thing I did, went through a few dungeons, did a few roulettes, and then I just like sat in Limza. Guys, my new favorite thing is RP walking. <laughs> and I started doing it as a joke. And I don't think it's a joke anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Also, hi, Epiclad. Welcome in. Oh, lord. I know, I'm in too deep. I'm in too deep. Yeah, jealousy RP walking everywhere is so much fun. Yes, role playing walking. That's it, Freezy, okay? Because when you just like, when you move your character forward normally, you're like running, right? RP walking is literally just like walking normally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ran. No, I did not stuff you into a dumpster. <laughs> that didn't happen. Loran did give me a gift though, so thank you for that. Um, it's just like, no, I was literally just gonna say, I was like, oh, this is so embarrassing because I was RP walking and then you came up and said hi to me and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord. Hi Chocoboss, welcome in. Chelsea, yeah, you also like to show off your backflip. Mm -hmm. I love just like going up to people and start dancing in front of them. Have playtime is, yeah, sitting in Limsa. Literally, it's just, it's so much fun. People watching. Lord. Um, wait, six pages of near theories and cools off with a nice evening RP walking Limsa. Literally, my life. That's been my life for the past. <sighs> the past weekend. Also, I'm very warm right now. I'm embarrassed. Amari, hello. How are you? Um, can I tell you guys another thing that I did last night? In Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but I, I think it's- I think it's funny? Uh... <laughs> you, okay, so you know how there are, um, people who like advertise okay people advertise like clubs they advertise places you can go to for like <laughs> oh 
Um, me and some friends, we saw this advertisement for a Femboy Hooters. And we were like, you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go. It was a lot of fun. We got food. Uh, we got some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joe. It was an RP event. I didn't know what I was expecting. Okay, it was, um, it was definitely an exper experience. It was a lot of fun. I was pretty, like, pretty embarrassed at first because I was like, I like didn't know what I was doing. Um, but yeah. Haley, hello. Yes, you missed it. You missed it. Luna, hi! Yeah, Femboy Hooters is real. Mm -hmm. They were all dressed up in like Hooters outfits. It was great. It was a great time. I was a Haley. I hope you're doing well. Uh, hi, Awesomeness. Hello. Um, now I will get to know a different Alana. Oh God. I feel like you you can play Final Fantasy fourteen as a completely different person, right? Because sometimes when I play as Natsuki, I'm just like, wow. I would not do this in real life. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun in game. Um, oh, I'm sure, Joe. I'm sure. Yes, Haley. I hope the Ren Fair was so much fun. The Elf Ears are so cute. Yeah, now I can RP walk. Exactly. Can't do that IRL. <laughs> um, community pops off in 14 though. Yeah, the community is great. Everyone has been very, very nice. Uh, your alt character gets certain attention because a lot, a lot because of his name. Don't need to dive into the RP houses. Oh god, to enjoy it. I'm afraid to ask what the name is. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to ask. <laughs> Yeah, very entertaining stuff in 14. Says it now, it's just a matter of time before he <laughs> starts RP walking IRL. <laughs> My god. No, exactly, Chelsea. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is about that game. It's so much fun, though. It's so funny. Anyway. So that was my weekend. Hanging out in Limza, going to Finboy Hooters. Uh, <laughs> I got the Phoenix mount. That's another thing. I got the Phoenix mount from um, the 10th anniversary event, and that was so good. Y'all, if you haven't done that event yet in Final Fantasy XIV, I highly recommend it. Uh, it made me shed a tear because it was it was so sweet. Um, so. Y'all should do that. And then the Phoenix Mount is so cool. Although I don't know how much I'm gonna be using it because when you when you take it out and when you actually use it, I feel like it's so zoomed in on your character. Um and I like I try to zoom out to give me a wider like point of view or whatever. And I I don't know. It's still pretty zoomed in. When you were next step on the iceberg, where Lung's asking chat how to install shaders. See, I don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm playing on my PlayStation. But also, shaders, that's like... That changes the visuals, right? I only- when I think of shaders, I think of like, Minecraft shaders. No, I didn't buy the Shiba mount, unfortunately. I was looking at it though, and I'm still considering. Because there's a sale going on. Of the letters in the rising event yeah i haven't read them yet i think i read like one of them but yeah yeah yoshi P thanked us that was so cool very very cool okay same exact idea makes everything prettier i see affects the texture of the models gotcha dang i wanna i wanna look at some of them though i could probably see examples like on twitter or something hi is it drizzly welcome in jjk will be on the next two days how do you feel i am so excited but also i'm scared <laughs> but 
<laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see Gojo again. But also the the trio. I can't wait to see the main trio. Anyway, okay, okay. Let's get into some near today, everyone. Let's get into some Whoa. near today, everyone. Let's get into some Whoa. near today, everyone. Oh my god, I had my stream open. That jump scared me. I don't know if you guys could hear that. <laughs> that really scared me. I don't like hearing my voice either. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hi, Cosmic Chano and AFL. Hi. Um, I'm loving Nier so much. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to share with you all my theories that I have before you play the game. Um, let me switch over here though. Also, if any of you need to go head off to avoid spoilers, please do because I'm going to be talking about uh, some theories that I have. Okay. <laughs> Getting stuck in a time loop. Stop. That's one of my theories though, you guys. Okay. Um Chelsea, thank you so much for lurking. Let me just scroll up in mine and Freezy's DMs. <laughs> um Obsession's merely getting started. Okay, this is what scares me because I already feel like I'm going crazy with this obsession, but it's fine. I, this happens to me a lot, where I just like, get very attached to things, very fixated on things, so. Trev, hi Trev, how are you? Murky theme was good, chat about your feelings vibes. Oh yeah. This, this is a good one too. This song. And Daniel, hi. Not femboy <laughs> I just talked about that. <laughs> I just talked about her experience. It was a great time. Yeah, the brain chemicals of a new fixation. Oh, Lord. Literally my life, Atma. I always get so sad when I feel my fixation going away. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to focus on next. What am I gonna do with my life if I'm not obsessed with this certain thing? <laughs> Hi, Mavukas, welcome in. Okay. So, oh, there's an ad. There's a freaking ad break. Okay, I apologize. I'll talk about my um, series after this ad's over. I think we have like a minute and 30 seconds. Check about us, you're the same. Keep it you too, because you need hyperfixations to live. Honestly, I feel that. Yeah. Ray song gives the vibes of you standing a little too close to a wall, staring at a dozen pages stacked to it. That's what I'm doing in my mind. Um. And commonly, hello. How are you? Stop listening to songs. You were scared of getting tired of your favorites. Okay, I feel that too. I. Okay, I literally had so many of the near songs on repeat this past weekend. Um, and I did the same thing with 86. I had like, I was listening to those openings and endings over and over again <laughs> for a very long time. Not so super fast. Hi, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. How is your stream? What were you playing today? My name is Lana. We are playing some uh, near Automata today, and we are on playthrough B. So if any of you need to avoid spoilers, please head off and do that. Um, stream it well. Good. You're playing Persona 4 Golden. Is this your first time playing it? Um, but I'm glad you had a good stream. And if you need to go take a break, take a stream or screen break, please do. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. Also, Haley, thank you for shouting out Not So Super Fads. Favorite song at the moment? Okay, my favorite Nier song. I have to go see the soundtrack. I think I like Peaceful Sleep. 
peaceful sleep is so beautiful. That's probably my favorite right now. I also like Voice of No Return. I think that was one that was playing at the end of playthrough A. Feel so out of the loop with Nier, what do you like the most about it? Oh my god, I don't even know. I literally love everything about Nier. Like, the gameplay is so much fun. Because it's action, but it like switches a perspective on you. So like sometimes you're playing with like, what's it called? Third person, just like an action game. Um, and then other times it's like a bird's eye view. The, the perspective just changes a lot. It's very cool. The music is great. I love the characters a lot. Um, and I like how much it's making me think. So yeah. Arun, hello, welcome in, Sniper, hi. So yours is Wretched Weaponry. Yeah, what is everyone's favorite song? I haven't, I don't think I've heard all of them yet. So. In Xbill, it is going great today. Aluna, welcome in. Xbill, I hope you're doing good. Great gameplay, amazing soundtrack. Yeah, it really hits you in the feels, exactly. With hype around and meet your expectations, were you scared of it being overhyped? Okay, Jay, here's the thing. All of you were talking about how much you love this game. And I was like, okay, it's gonna be good when I play. And I feel like within the first like hour or two of playing, I was like, okay, this is really living up to everyone's expectations. <laughs> or maybe even like exceeding it, just because it's so good. Um Hi Rogue Knight, welcome in. Uh, oh, you watched on YouTube? Nice! Glad you consider playing Replicant? Yes, we will see how this playthrough goes. Um, if I... I mean, I'm really enjoying it right now, so... Um, I may play Replicant after this. And Haddis, thank you for the four months! I appreciate that. Welcome in. Your fave is just City Ruins. Sniper, you like City Ruins too? Yeah, Kai, it is hard to choose. Very hard to choose. And Tanner, hello. Um, okay, so the ad break is over. I was waiting for y'all to get out of ads before I talked about my theories and stuff. Um, hi, El President, welcome in. I've been doing good. So my theories, I have like two separate theories. All right, so the first one, Chris, thank you for lurking. The first one is, I think we may be in some sort of like simulation or time loop and we're redoing everything, we're playing everything, and perhaps 2B and 9s are gonna realize that we're in a simulation or like a time loop. <clears throat> and if this is happening, who is putting us through the simulation and why? Is it humans? Someone else? I don't know. Um, oh, so yes, Haley, thank you for saying that. No confirming or denying anything. I'm just like talking about my feelings. This is all rhetorical. Um, or my second theory is that in this playthrough B, we're going through Nine's memories. Okay? So. This one is kind of hard to explain for me. So like Nines himself, he wants to relive these memories when he had a human body because like in playthrough A, it ended with him with a robot body, right? All his data moved over there. Um, and then I also have just like, I have some questions like, is his data still fully intact or was it actually still corrupted by Eve? Um, and then another thing, that gives me this like <laughs> okay let me think about how I need to word this okay a reason why I think that Nine's data could still be corrupted by Eve is because this is a very this is a very tiny detail maybe I'm thinking overthinking but Nine's like he would talk about the weather right and then the machines start talking about the weather too. I don't know. <laughs> so 
I'm like, is Nines like controlling the machines now? Anyway, um, and then I just have some like bullet points that I wrote down. One, I want to know what the scene was before we saw, before we went to the apartment complex area. I think Nines was talking in there. There was something about like a volcano erupting and a god being born. And then they were talking about the meaning of life being consciousness, pain, fury, which sound a lot like what Adam was talking about. We saw him in that like white boxy world. Um, Okay. Also, why can we hear the music box at this point in the resistance camp? Part of me's like, maybe it's just a game feature, but then part of me's like, this could also contribute to both my theories of it being like a simulation or going through Nine's memories. Hi, Fabi, welcome in. All the endings really messed you up. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm scared. I'm really scared. And Jose, welcome in. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Haley, he could. He can hack and everything, right? Um. Okay, more random questions that came to my brain. What's going on with Command? What are they hiding? What does A2 know? We need answers for that. Um. Also, this is another small thing that I noticed in my playthrough B. Why could 2B pick up and repair dead bodies, but 9s can't? Is it just like a game feature? Or is it because he's like a scanner and 2B is more like a, a fighter? I don't know. Okay. And also, the androids and machines they feel the same as humans, just with like a robot or a metal body. Okay, they have emotions, they care about the friends, they love, they hate. And it seems like the longer they exist, the longer they have to make connections with people. The more that they become a part of humanity. But then they're like still so intrigued by humans? Who existed, even though I feel like they're so similar to them, just like they don't have... They don't have a human body? I don't know. Yeah, I have not played Replicant, no. Um, I'm betting a lot of his theories in the spreadsheet. Not a spreadsheet, I just have them in my notes app. <laughs> I was... I was just like... <laughs> typing up a storm on Thursday. Okay, so because of that, because androids and machines are like pretty similar to each other, I'm like wondering if they're somehow gonna eventually work together. Because they're really not very different from each other. Um, and also, this is one last thing. I feel like there's also a lot of religious... Uh, religious allegories in here with like Adam and Eve and everything. Um, and um, I was editing my first part of my playthrough over the weekend, and there was there was one line in the beginning that Two B talked about how they're like suffering, they're going through the suffering, and like what what is the reason for it? And to me, that like that really reminded me of the story of Adam and Eve, and obviously they're in the game, and Original Sin. And so I'm like... Are they gonna touch more on that? On, like, Original Sin? With these characters? Or what? I don't know. Um... Also, hi Tanner! Are you planning to upload the gameplay on YouTube later? Yes, I actually uploaded part one. Also, please don't spam the chat, ask me to react to things. Thank you. Um, yeah, I uploaded part one on YouTube. I uploaded it onto my VOD channel. There it is. Let me see if this link works. Okay, it does. Yes. Um, so that's up there. 
And it should be able to... I should be putting it on... Putting all of the parts on YouTube eventually. <laughs> Parker, hello! Gabe goes super deep into a topic. Had to watch a video of that... Uh, that kind of explained it because... Oh, you never studied about that. Interesting. Okay. Kale, yes! Is this a curse or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle and wonder if we'll ever get the chance to kill him. See, when I rewatched that, I was like, okay, we're definitely gonna fight or kill whoever this god is. It's a JRPG. I feel like it has to end with us killing a god. <laughs> um, so... I, part of me is like, okay, that could be Adam and Eve, but then who created Adam and Eve? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just play the game, okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is a fun game, you guys. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, uh, and it makes me feel like I'm losing my mind. Anyway. <laughs> uh, the new retrospect video essays go hard. Oh, I can't wait to watch those. Cannot wait. Oh yeah, Freezy for sure had a great time. I'm sure she opened her DMs and was like, girl, <laughs> what the fuck? To Android Hooters! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, everyone. Thank you for listening to my theories. Let's play. You made so many notes after finishing the game as well? I feel like. Obviously, you can, you can just like play this game and like take things as they come. For me, though. I feel like I have to like write things down and like theorize about what's gonna happen. Alrighty. Oh, another thing I wanted to say, I I do feel like I was um looking too into things last time we played this because there was one part at the end there where we went into our sleeping quarters at the resistance camp and I saw this opened box and I was like there's no way that we actually open that in playthrough A. I went back and looked. I did open it. I was gaslighting myself. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. Yeah, Robs, I did know that there was a near autom uh, uh, Automata anime. I would like to watch that. I heard people say you should watch it after you play Replicant, though. So I might do that. Also, hi, Houghton Dog. I don't know if I said hi to you yet, but welcome in. <laughs> Look at them! I love them so much! Okay. So, in this playthrough, we already fought Adam. Uh, let me just remember the controls. Okay, this is jump. Yes. So we already fought Adam. Um, back in the resistance camp. Let me look at my quest really quick. Maybe we should do this mysterious letter quest. Okay, and there's also another quest I want to do. Having to do with Emil. Cause I think I can only finish that one in this playthrough. I'm not sure when I can unlock it though. <coughs> Let me bring up this um, spreadsheet of side quests that I need to do. I love playing as nine so much. I feel like I need to get used to the hacking and everything.
Oh gosh. Okay, yes. <clears throat> I need to do Emil's memories, and I would like to do the... Um... Maybe Yorha Betrayer ones? I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god, I need some water. You prefer two bees is combat style threw you off for a while. I totally understand that, Rogue. Um <clears throat> I think two bees is it's um more familiar to me, right? Cause with nines it does have the hacking stuff, so it's very different. Very, very different. Um We are hanging in there. So I think we need to leave the resistance cam. And then maybe we'll get something to to trigger. You love the hacking mini games? Yeah, I get that. I think when I get better at them, I'll enjoy them more. <laughs> Operator to 9S. Hi. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B. 9S, we've lost contact with several Yorha <gasps> units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. Okay. End transmission. <clears throat> I heard something about that back at the resistance camp. Target <laughs> location confirmed. I'm worried about the Oops. other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we did this last playthrough as well. <clears throat> I think we could teleport there. Let's go see if we can do that. Hi, Nox, welcome in. Also, Racer, hello. The hacking grow on you a lot? Yeah, I think that's what happened to me too. No, literally, Martini, they did come out of nowhere. Oh! Oh! Okay, I can't teleport. They want me to walk there. Alrighty. <laughs> I forgot, we have to go to the amusement park and everything. I don't know, I don't remember if we're going to the amusement park now? Or if it's sometime later. It might be now. Yeah, we're going to Disney World! <laughs> Such a fun time! Haley, thank you so much for printing that message. Looks like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. Yep. Let's go. So, 2B. Those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. Oh, girl. I suppose. No, what is going this is on? Tactical Support Unit Pod 042. Control has been assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 153. Control has been assigned to 9S. Combat data exchange requested. Exchange accepted. Proposal. Data should be exchanged regularly for greater efficiency. Proposal accepted. Data will be exchanged regularly for greater efficiency. End communication.
Okay. <clears throat> Learning more about the pots. All right. Um, just going to continue forward. <laughs> Gillings, hello. Thank you so much for the five months. I'm using your prime here. It's good to see you. Oh my gosh. It's Disney World time. I'm so excited. Wait, can I save here? No, I can't. <clears throat> Casual robot conversation. Mm -hmm. Hi, Crimson. Was that actually Takemi and Kamashia's voice actor? Another little cutscene? What is this? They were found by the machines. The machines called them treasures. Each treasure had a different shape. Each treasure had a different Heart? shape. Shape? Nines, what's going on? What's going on with you? What are those? What the? Well, this is weird. This song is so good, too. Hmm. So we talked about treasures, all of them having different shapes. The machines called whatever they found treasures. <clears throat> Very interesting. Oh, saving as possible, thank god. Okay. Uh, actually, let's get up further and save. Wait, let's talk to some people, too. Oh, hello. Welcome. You're our first customer. Okay. Can I talk to anyone out here? Let's be happy together. <laughs> I love these little guys so much. They're so cute to me. Erin, hello. Oh, I can I can RP walk through the amusement park. Let's do it. Can we go a little faster maybe? Oh. Me me walking up. To Limsa, the Limsa Aetherite. <laughs> okay, get me out of here. Mr. Fly. Also, thank you for the follows, everyone. Um, go fast. Oh, that's not real RP walking. Tubi's walk is so slight. No, literally. I'm like, girl. Look at them. Oh, just two slayers. Just two baby girls. Oh, we can shop here. Don't shout. Can I help you? Yes. Oh. I don't need any of this stuff. I thought you were gonna give me like potions or something. Um, let's definitely save. Because I think we're gonna be going up to a big boss. From what I remember. Hey, hello! Thank you so much for the three months! Yes, happy start of the week to you! Happy Monday! I hope you had a great weekend! And bees, hi! Bees, how are you? Where does this corridor lead?
Break time! <laughs> I don't know why it makes me Google that. This one doesn't have a hat on. He just looks bald. The Gora girl, girl still sends ya. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Hi! We're getting resistance signals from that building over there. Okay. We will save again here. I think I have some mail. Operator 21 0. Oh. Um. The schedule corresponds for Yorham members. If you have an issue, please respond. Even if you do not have an issue, we would not particularly mind if you send a response, as it is possible we might be able to use whatever bit of information you have, no matter how small, for future missions. Of course, it's also possible we might not be able to use it. Okay. We need a way through. Let's look around for a route we can take. I love this parkour. I think another reason why I like this game a lot is because there's a lot of platforming. Like these parts. I do enjoy a, a nice platforming game. Dangerous beyond here. Broken. Junk. Danger. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I don't think I need to kill these guys. Oops. These machines are heavily armed. Uh -huh. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. I don't think we need two nines. I don't think we need to do that. We're just gonna leave them. We're gonna let them be happy. <laughs> but how do I get over there again? Uh, we should go up these stairs. Yes. The fact that there are different play styles makes it fun. Yeah, and the perspective changing. So good. <gasps> it's roller coaster time! Yes. What's this? Analysis. It is a device that propels <laughs> humans on rails at high speeds. <laughs> this for part is so much fun. Amusement. It was commonly referred to as a roller coaster. Humans sure are strange creatures. Yeah, to be glitching out. Is she just like jumping everywhere? Whoa. To be? Yes. Oh. People who know me well usually call me nice. So. So what do you think? Uh, I mean, if you want to call me nines, it's totally okay. I'm good. Oh. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, that part hurts me still. Hey, come on. Oh. Alright. Oh. There we go. God, I love the 8 bit. Oh, you're a big boy. Get up. Oh, just kidding, we're done. Y'all, I'm scared for Alert. this next Multiple boss. resistance members detected beneath this room. I'm scared for this next boss, cuz uh Oh. Okay, we got something. I just worry for what this is gonna be like with Nines' play style.
All right, she looks the same. She sounds the same. What the hell? Simone. Our she has a name now. About a machine like this. Simone. I don't think we knew her name before. Okay, it looks like I can't hack into her either. For some reason. Oh! Let's be careful. Oh my god, this song is so good. <laughs> oh, I should probably heal up. Okay. Oh god, the perspective is changing! Alright, we're fine. Alright, we're good, we're good. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so much happening! to hack us if we take hacking damage it'll affect our bodies as well okay part of me thinks that because nines is hacking into people like this he's seeing these machines memories okay that's my new theory to be Also, she really went from like a small machine to this huge thing. Those look like corpses. Mm -hmm. Are we All seriously right. being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think to be. I'm detecting black box signals. They are dead. They've been turned into weapons. All right. This ends now. Poor nines and 2B. Oh, shit. All right, this part was really hard for me the first time around. Hopefully it's better. <laughs> um... uh... <gasps> Jump scare. I've almost analyzed the right, cool. acting pattern. I'm going to try to hack it back. Keep it busy. You got it. Oops. Oh, I need to hack now? Oh, Lord, I don't think I'm going to be good at this. Fuck! 
if he's going to. I don't know if he's going to, Simone. Now, what the hell? Okay, okay, we need to get rid of this. I can hack into her again? This is so interesting. Oh, the hacking's getting harder. happened last time? I don't remember if this happened last time. What was that? I don't know how to dodge those. do that. I don't want to do more hacking because pisses me off.
Nice. Affirmative. Go! Look at me. Oh, please look at me. I want your eyes to look upon me alone. Have I not become beautiful? Do these clothes make me look cute? Would he like it if I walked like this? I still don't understand what it means to love someone. But I've made up my mind. I will do whatever it takes to capture his affection. Long ago, an old machine life form told me something. Beauty is what wins love. But what is beauty? After researching the old world, I finally learned the truth. Beauty is pretty skin. Beauty is stylish accessories. Beauty is looking one's best. I will become beautiful. I will do it for him. I once heard tell of a precious jewel far to the east. It was said to be located on a terribly dangerous mountain. I did not care. I slipped on cliffs, I fell into rocks, but eventually I claimed the jewel. Blue stone. Brilliant blue. So beautiful. I lost many parts obtaining this jewel. I lost myself. But my wounds are badges. There's a rumor floating among the other life forms lately. Devour the body of an android to gain eternal beauty. Such nonsense. It is physically impossible to obtain beauty by consuming an android. But I tried it anyway. I would try anything. I wanted to vomit, but I kept going. It tastes like oil. Not a moment passed where I didn't strive to become more beautiful, but he still won't look my way. I even tried to learn what a song, what is called a song. Songs can make someone have feelings for you. That's what they say, so I practice every day. But he still won't look my way. I ate more androids. I even ate machine life forms. But he still won't look my way. He won't look my way. Whoa. He still won't look my way. That's when I realize he cares not for jewels, or songs, or beauty, or appearance, or anything else. I cannot win his love. Why have I done this to myself? Meaningless. 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 I gaze into the mirror, and its reflection I see my own meaningless. I see only my own meaningless. Meaninglessness. And so I scream. Someone, please, look my way. Thanks for the assist. Oh, you mean the hacking? No worries. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. I've got your back anytime. That was very sad. We have to save those androids. Mm. I'm sorry to be. Their circuits are fried. I think they were only being kept alive by that enemy. Oh. Okay, doors open. So this is just another rhetorical question. Is Nines like... Seeing all this and like keeping it to himself? Or is this just for like the viewer, the player? This is rhetorical. So, um... What is it? That machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I... I guess. I'm sad. That was so 
upsetting. The fact that, okay, the fact that a machine felt like that is, is very human, right? Oh no. Okay, is there anything back here? I think I checked this before. There's nothing. Um, <laughs> Nina's seeing it too. Yeah, just ignoring it. Yeah, I guess he did say, he, like, his comment about emotions and everything. Like, of course he would say that after what he saw. And then 2B doesn't, doesn't know what he saw, so, um, there was something in the back? Is there? Oh. Did I go in here before? I'm scared. <laughs> Oof. I'm scared. Demons cry, a weapon. So just a, a bunch of computers, bunch of computers, lots of dead machines, androids that were crucified. Yeah, the TV world, it, it's giving Little Nightmares vibes, but also I could see Persona 4 vibes too. Uh, okay. Demon's Cry. Weapon shaped after a demon's profane fangs. Once there was a gentle angel who came to Earth to provide salvation for those in need. Whether it was curing illnesses, offering, blessing, offering blessings, or cheering the sad, he was always there when needed. Oh god, we need to put better stuff on. Okay, let's... Should we use this lance? Oh, I don't know if I like that. Actually, I think, uh, I don't know. Okay, okay. So this is all under the amusement park. Very interesting. I wonder if this is where Simone's quarters were? She was trying to eat all the machines and androids? I don't know. He won't look my way. I felt that clear. So sad. Oh, the pin messages? Yeah, I see it on my end, Haley. So no worries there. Um. Also, Eddie, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good rest of your day. Ooh. Okay, so we have to hack into these. That is how we get these chests. 
Very cool. Oh, 10,000? 10, 10,000 G? Oh my god, we are so rich. <laughs> Hello, friend. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. We repay you. Come to our village. Of course. Could be a trap. Of course. Still, oh my god, we, we get to see Pascal. Over there and gather data, right? Oh, I should probably save. I'm here. I'm following you. <laughs> hey, Elcor, welcome in. Uh, do you think after finishing New you'll check out the anime? So this I th one. think I definitely want to watch it. Um, I might watch it after I play Replicant if I do play Replicant. Yeah, I'd love to. I hope you're doing good today. Thanks for coming into a stream. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. Hmm. I feel like we might learn more about that eventually. I don't know. Or maybe it's just world building. So why don't the machines, <gasps> or the aliens who created them, Attack the bunker directly. They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? <laughs> so true, Nines. Even though you can, like, hack into them and kind of see their thoughts and emotions. I guess he's talking about aliens, but... Brother? Oh, Lord. Why do we have to wear undergarments? It's such a hassle. <laughs> the records claim humans covered their crotches as they went about their business. Revealing one's genitals was seen as problematic. The asshole. So just be quiet and wear them already. Okay. But why are we eating this plant matter? Machines don't need to eat things like this. This is a type of fruit. Our data suggests that mankind gained great intelligence from consuming fruit. So quit griping and eat it already. All right, mm. if that's what you want. But once we're done, can we play together for a bit? Fine. Oh, great. Then I'll eat lots of fruit. Eve. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure eating eating the fruit is what like <laughs> what created sin in the bible yeah eve really is like a kid he just wants to play they adam seems kind of like a baddie Looks like they really don't want to fight look at them okay hello, hello. To be! We can't trust anything the machines say! I understand that you see us as the enemy, but... Well, anyway, my name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Those who reside here desire nothing more than to live a peaceful existence. Look around for yourself. You'll see that it's true. Pascal, it's so good to see you. 
Um, Eve is also baby girl, yeah. Alex, hi, welcome in. You finished near yesterday? Oh my god. I hope you had a good time. I'm very afraid to finish it. I know, nines, be calm. Just be calm. They're they're together again. Oh. See, every time there's like something slightly different in these playthroughs that that shows that we already completed like a side quest from the first one. I'm I'm always like, okay, maybe it's just the game like being nice to us and like showing us that yeah we completed these side quests in the first playthrough, or this is like intentional and in showing us these two together to like try and tell us that we're in some sort of loop or simulation. I don't know. Obviously, don't answer that. You guys are so cute. Is there anything up here? Actually, I think there was a box. I got that last playthrough. <laughs> Adding more with strength, yeah, to the whiteboard in my mind, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, should we go see if John Paul's here? Oh, let's definitely save. Oh. Hey! Ah, uh, John Paul! Okay, you're saying the same thing. You are here! Existence precedes essence. Are any other robots, baby girl? I mean, you got uh, Nines, who is an android. He's so baby girl. Um, the robots? I feel like you could say Pascal. Pascal's a baby girl. Man has nothing else but what he makes himself. Additionally. Um, hello? <laughs> Wait! Okay. Is this... This may be the same robot that we saw in those flashbacks with Simone. Jean-Paul? It would make total sense too because Jean-Paul is a little bitch who does not give a shit about anyone but himself. It's the hat. Yeah. Um... Let us begin the con by discussing the concept of existentialism. <laughs> Do shut up. So are we gonna have to do the same thing? Let me see. Uh, I have to go down here. Um, hi Nara, welcome in! Here to watch another person play this amazing game for the first time! Yes! I'm loving it so far. Uh, and is it Choo Choo, hello! Your brother's called John Paul! Oh my god. Do you have a no machine named John Paul? Master, John Paul is a genius! You can rely on him for absolutely anything! Are we talking about the same John Paul here? <laughs> In fact, I was just thinking about how much wisdom he has to teach me, so I wrote him a letter asking for guidance. Okay, so this is the same stuff. Mmm. 
The lady in the desert or the harpy in the amusement park. Um... I mean... Okay, the amusement park machine that we talked to last time was not Simone. Um... God, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I want to read it. Okay. Hello? Dreams are the mind's version of reality perfected. <laughs> Why did he say that? Why did he just randomly say that? I have beef with this man. With this machine. Do you believe that existence precedes essence? so much. He sucks. Okay, I guess we gotta go see what the makeup girl says again. God. Alright. It's like he's making a cult. And those stupid little hat. Come on. Also, hi Jimbo. Jimbo, I don't know if I said hi to you. Welcome in. Alright, Pascal. You know, we already have something of a relationship with you androids. In fact, I'm hoping we can take this to an enemy in the resistance camp. What is it? It's a fuel filter that she requested. If you take it to her, you sh it should make it clear that we're a peaceful group. Okay. Um, alright, we're gonna save. Okay, that's for Jean Paul. <laughs> we gotta go over there. Oh, there's something there. Wait. In the park ruins. I kind of want to go see what that is. Okay, let's go to the attraction square. Actually, I might have looked at that um last time. <gasps> Can I not teleport? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I can't teleport right now. I completely forgot about that. Um. I think we want to go this way. Yes, yes, yes. John Paul's like, uh, that one professor in college just spent a day to rant and no one knew what they were talking about. Yeah, and everyone simply nodded. Mm-hmm. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. I have something important to discuss with you today. What is it? Our maintenance team filed a complaint about how you treat your flight unit. They requested that you cease making unauthorized modifications. What? Well, I kinda had to. There's so much excess data sent to me from the satellite, it's delaying aim correction. If you have a rebuttal, you need to discuss it with maintenance. Fight it out if you must. Operator 210, out. Nine, oh, I am so sorry. My operator's more prone to violence than I thought. That's shitty. Not good workplace conditions, all right? Oh no! Wait, can I get down here? No.
Wait, let's talk to this guy too. Yes, okay, we gave him 20,000 G last time. Wait, how much do we have right now? <laughs> uh, items. Oh, we have 29,000. <gasps> Should we do it? What if we just do like... 5,000. A thousand thanks for your investment efforts. However, I yet lack the budget I require, so I'm unable to provide the promised material dividends. Alright. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button to jump. There we go. Not the crypto grind. <laughs> Can't guess how much total money he wants? I don't know. Too much. Too much for sure. This game has stuff that you can sell that's useless otherwise. I think so. I think I remember someone mentioning that. Um. I have not sold anything yet though. Machine with a dream. Okay. So, where was this quest I wanted to go to? In that- in the castle? I don't know if I can get in there. Wait, is that, am I going the right way? Yeah. I don't know if I can get in there. Oh wait, maybe I can? Perhaps I need to go onto the the roof again. All right, I'm very curious to see what this is. So I think I have to go back and then. Did I just take the the roller coaster again? Let me save. Excuse me. Hi, Res Nation. How's it going? Oops. I'm gonna save again just in case. I thought I was going to fall. <laughs> They're still having their fun. We'll leave them be. Giselle, hello! 
How are you? Yes, we are back in the near brain rot. Still on our second playthrough. Is the roller coaster gonna come again? Okay, good. Oh my god, I'm warm. Have you seen Nine Ass Wacky Adventures? <laughs> I'm good. I'm sorry that you're drowning in meetings. Oh my lord. I've had a good weekend though. Hi, Shock. Hey, it looks so good. Thank you. Get him. Get him, Nine. I still get confused with who I'm controlling. Like, I know I'm controlling nines, but my brain is still like, you're controlling 2D. Oh nice. <gasps> Let's not die here! Thank you! Oh my god, the fireworks are so gorgeous. We're going so fast, too. What the hell? Oh! Okay. What? Are we back in the same place? Could I not get that side quest? Tubi, what are you doing? <laughs> what is she doing back there? <laughs> oh, come on. What the hell? Okay. This is a pineapple question. Is there a way I can get to that side quest right now? Or maybe, maybe it was underground. Because my first thought was, oh, I need to... Go on top. Go on top of the building. Elevator? Okay. So it was underground. My bad. How do I get out of here? Or nor. There we go. Okay. Elevator. Elevator, elevator, elevator. We're gonna go. Um, got another three months on your work contract. Very happy! Wish you gave me a raise, but better than nothing- Oh my gosh, I'm happy that you got renewed. I feel like it's probably so stressful waiting for that. But that is very good news. Okay. Well, at least we had fun on the roller coaster ride again. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I feel like when I went back and watched my VOD for that section for the roller coaster part, I was like, Getting kind of sick watching that, but when I actually play it, it's not bad. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I'm focusing more on nines and 2B. Alright. Hi, Blighty, a smart move. More reactor shove, please help me phase. Yeah, or saying help to chat. Yeah. See, I learned through playing like other story games on stream that I really just. I'm like not a fan of people just randomly telling me what to do. Did I go on the wrong elevator? But yeah, the pineapple stuff has helped a lot. Oh, there is something here. Oh. Oh. Game creator machine. 
Hey there, having fun? This place isn't exactly what I call fun. Good point. It's more like an unamusement park, eh? That's why I'm thinking about making a game. Oh yeah? Yes, a fun game that anyone can play, if only I had the materials. I don't suppose you'd help me out with that. A single tri-colored cable. If you know what you need, why don't you go find it yourself? Tri-colored cables are found inside machines at the amusement park! You don't expect me to slaughter my own kin, do you? You could just decide not to make the game, you know? Never. My creative urges must be satisfied. But you just said... Oh, forget it. Machines ca carrying tricolor cables are quite aggressive, so be careful. Do I have to? Do I have to do that? Nines! I don't know if we should do that! They're having so much fun! Uh, now I have to make this decision. <laughs> like, if I want to actually do this quest. Oops. Hmm. Um. It helps us enjoy streamers' experience and the pain we went through. The uh, went through. Oh yeah, for the more difficult, yeah, or awkward things in the game, yeah, for sure. Definitely makes for a better experience for. Both viewers and streamers. I can't believe this. The one's right at the front too? No. Should we do a poll? Should we do a poll of whether or not I should do this quest? Because <laughs> I can't decide. I personally can't decide for myself. Okay. I'm gonna make a poll. Should Alana kill the machines for parts? Yes. No. Okay. Joker boss, thank you for the poll time. Oh, Resonation, that, that's a huge, huge pet peeve of mine. Yeah, here comes this part, or here we go. I think I literally had to, um, block the term here we go, or here it comes from chat. Give me the drama, y'all are saying to do it. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Emmy, yeah, thank you for lurking. I don't think we have a command. Makes you kind of angry, yeah. I feel that. Okay. Hi, Momamba. How you doing? All right, I guess we're doing it. And we're just gonna ruin their freaking day. <sighs> oh, okay, they're being mean to me. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, we got it. All right, I only had to kill one. <laughs> We're fine! We're totally okay! <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to kill like all of them. <laughs> um, hi you hi, welcome in! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Just some casual murder, uh huh. Yes, if it's for a side quest, they would surely understand. You voted yes for the chaos. <laughs> I feel like a lot of y'all probably did that too. Okay. 
All right, sir. All right, I have your part. Excellent. Now I just attach this here. Success! The game is ready! So, what is this game of yours anyway? It's a shooting game. I have a feeling it's still really buggy though. I'd appreciate it if you could debug it a bit while you play. Feel like playing a game? Is it mini game time? Oh no. That was scary. That was scary. I like that. <laughs> Okay, but at least we got all this stuff. Alright, cool. <laughs> to be honest, I was hoping it would be more of a challenge. I bet a... I bet a four-color cable would be just the thing to raise the difficulty. No, I'm done. No! I'm not gonna do that! Okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, yeah, this is how devs debug the or games. Yep, that would be so easy. Mm -hmm. What's this game about? This game is about androids and machines and uh, and humans, I guess. Yes. Ask the question, does existence come before essence? Mm -hmm. Deep questions. It's really fun though. Lots and lots of fun. Okay, now we can go back to the resistance camp. Yeah, and cheeks. And baby girls. Existential dread, mm-hmm. Lots of things. It's gonna feel a lot of things. We're learning a lot here. An a-hole and a robot in a top hat that <laughs> will look at pretty ladies. <laughs> he, he is my worst enemy in this game right now, I think. Not Adam, not Eve. Especially not Eve, because I feel like Eve... Eve's being taken advantage of by Adam. At least in my opinion. Um... John Ball just sucks. Sucks a lot. Okay. Let's... Get going. <laughs> John Paul, the final boss. <laughs> uh, this way? No, not that way. Not this way either. What? Oh, how did I get out of here? Oh wait, there has to be a ladder somewhere, yes? There it is. My bad. I could not see that far. Was John Ball even aware of love? Got the impression he might have been more of a normal robot. Not sure. I have no idea. That's a good question, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 
would buy baby girl of Stasis Paradox. <laughs> he has a top hat, so you don't trust him. Don't trust anyone with a top hat, is that what you're saying? Perhaps it's a good model to live by. Yeah, he's a fancy bot. <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> Alright. We're gonna save. And then let's talk to an enemy. Hey! Say, Nanami, I've got a package for you from a machine called Pascal. A fuel filter? Ah, perfect timing. We are running low. Wait, you met Pascal? Sure did. So you've been consorting with machines, huh? Just ones in the village. They're totally harmless and they also have the means to construct intricate devices that we can't. In exchange, we provide them with oil and other materials. I guess you'd call it a form of commerce. I see. Anyway, if you're headed back there, please take this high viscosity oil to Pascal. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a quest back here. Oh, that's right. Resistance Disappearance. I don't remember if I did this one. Or did I? No, I think I did. <laughs> I'm confused. When was the last time you saw someone in any media with a top hat that wasn't a villain? I think I have to think hard about this. <laughs> uh... Can I go in here? Can we open this now? Oh wait, maybe we just never open that. Oopsie. Oh yeah, the coordinates. Okay. Oh, that's what we need to get for this resistance disappearance thing. Tuxedo mask, Wonka, <laughs> Lincoln. Um. Oh, leech reaching the point where you stopped playing. Want to see when, why I actually stopped. Oh, according to Steam. Okay. Stop, because you got COVID. No, I'm sorry. That really sucks. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the music box. Okay, so we picked up a few quests. I'm gonna look at the map again. So we have to go to Pascal's village again. Um, there's that halfwit investigator. There's another side quest back there. Where is that? That's. Okay, near the desert? Resistance disappearance... Okay, I think we should go back to Pascal's village. I don't know if we're gonna be able to teleport there, though. Oh! Well? What do you think? <laughs> he just started transmitting to us directly! <laughs> now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's... Nine! ...technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. 
Pascal is so kind. Oh man. Okay, we do have to walk there. I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom first before we continue on. I really gotta go. Um, but thanks for hanging out, everyone. Shout to the mods. Also, check your yeehaws. Check your misos. Love that. And then when I get back, we will head on over to Pascal's village. Maybe we will stop and do some side quests along the way. We will see. All right, one sec. Oh my god. Was Wonka a villain? I don't remember. <laughs> Shout out to uh, uh, Liam and Living Scranton for redeeming these polls. Yeah, which Wonka? Gene Wilder? I don't remember um, exactly what happens in the Wonka movies. children gets a chocolate that's so true actually i mean like sorry let me just have a little snack here that's right that's right poor safety precautions bad mannered children getting murdered mm-hmm mm-hmm Turning into blueberries. <laughs> maybe he is. Maybe he is a, a villain. Any snackies in chat? Yeah. Any of y'all have snacks? Ask for your Pringles. I have a kind breakfast bar. It's blueberry almond. They're very good. I used to always get the um, dark chocolate banana ones, and I I like those more. This is my first time trying the blueberry almond. Ooh, man, you made eggs. I had some scramb scrambled eggs this morning. They were delicious. 
How did you make your eggs, Manda? You can share your peanut butter cups. Oh my god, please. Okay, do y'all say Reese's or Reese's? Reese's or Reese's peanut butter cups? I say Reese's. Sour worms are so good. You say Reese's? Reese's. Try to spin all the murders in Charlotian. Does he actually? I don't remember that. Oh my god, tonkatsu ramen with boiled eggs sounds so good. Holy shit. Um, made eggs with potatoes. <gasps> Bell peppers and sriracha sauce. Okay, chef. Love that. Eggs over easy with rice, furikake, sriracha, and kubi mayo. This is so good, Amanda. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should have that for... For dinner tonight. I love that. Reese's Puffs. So you say Reese's. Yeah. Reese's. Not Reese's. Yeah, whole new angle. <laughs> Don't think any food should rhyme with feces. <laughs> Yang, you're so right. I wish I could just sit here. I mean, I could do this. I could just sit here and like listen to this song the whole time. But let's uh, go back to Pascal. I think that's what we have to do. I want to know who the heck wrote this language. Like, was it the game creator who wrote this language? Because it's... It's beautiful. Reese's puffs, refit. The commercial, y'all. Do they make cereal commercials anymore? I feel like they don't. Granted, I don't. I don't watch a lot of TV. Also, I'm so warm right now. Give me two minutes. I'm gonna go turn on my AC and close my windows. Sorry, one sec. Okay. It was like, it was like a cool 60 degrees this morning when I woke up. And now it's like getting to 80 degrees. Emmy Evans, wait, Emmy Evans is the one who created the lyrics? Like created the language? Music and atmosphere of the game is something that sets it apart. Mm-hmm. Music is so good. Katie, hi Katie. Wanna play this game? The music is so good. Right? You gotta look up the soundtrack. It's it's so calming. There are some tracks that are also like so haunting that I love as well. It's just beautiful. Chaos Langer is also singing in both Replicant and Automata by Emmy Evans. Okay. That's cool that she's in both. 
so what is the music like for well what is that game called Dra Drakengard? is it similar one of the songs that felt like they were from different languages languages Evans felt like her approach would lead to similar sounding results each time. Serious composer suggested that a different approach might be to base each song on a different existing language. That's so wild! Wow, okay, okay, okay. It's really cool that they let her do that. <laughs> Tracking card, who <hoo> boy? <laughs> so, same composer. You love one song that's seven minutes long. We love long ass songs. Mm -hmm. Is it Draken Guard? Draken Guard? Yeah, 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 yeah. At my half seen Cirque du Soleil shows, use their own language as well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There was one song from Ka, a Cirque du Soleil show, that I was like obsessed with. I forgot what one it was, but it was gorgeous. I didn't realize that it was a, a made up language. this oh you're giving you a hard time about the wisconsin accent okay <laughs> rogue you would prefer the replicant ost interesting oh my god i love how they have shifts shifts to guard the village I don't want to go up there. Wait, unless there's something down here? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> so we did this quest the first time around. should do this one again this is a pineapple question should i do this quest again like would there be any differences yes or no i asked this because this was a um i think this is a quest that it suggested that i do Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll pick it up. Um, Jeb, hi. A song in both near is called Grandma. All they love with all your heart. My list kind of reminds you of Stray. I could see that. Um, because I think Stray has that like apocalyptic feel, right? Also, yeah, kill. Okay, I just randomly picked pineapple because I really like pineapple. I don't know what else to choose. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. I forgot we have to go to the abandoned factory for this. Great. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care at all that we have to go back to the abandoned factory, actually. <laughs> Visual cure? Oral cure? What? Uh-oh. I don't remember this. From <laughs> last playthrough. And <laughs> that makes me scared. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess we'll just buy ten of each. The Mementos Factory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeff, I hope you're doing good. Yeah, and you like the Automata soundtrack overall? Yeah, sound design. Amazing. Song of the Asians is your favorite song in all of Nier. Ooh, from Le Replicant. Okay. Hmm. I learned how to make weapons from a legendary swordsmith in the forest. I wish he'd come to the village. Hmm. Okay, so I think we upgraded this one. Did we unlock more story? Fail to connect with my lover. I really like how they give all the weapons a story. I think it's very interesting. Hi, Pascal! Oh! You brought me some high viscosity oil! And that means just so kind and understanding. If only all androids and machines could live together in peace like this. Never gonna happen. I guess not. I'd appreciate it if you could help out some of the other machines as well, though. What's that noise? Operator to 9S. Emergency transmission incoming. We've detected a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. It seems to be accompanied by a large number of machine life forms. All Yorha members are ordered to engage at once. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low. But I mm. hope you will, nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is when all the stress starts. As if I wasn't stressed before. But like... <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say it. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Welcome in. How's it going? Um... Also, yay! Yes, no worries. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bazinga, hello! Hi, plurali pluralizes. I did hear that the anime was very good. Okay. We're gonna be smart. We're gonna be smart. This time we're not gonna go that way. We have to go this way. Wait, I wonder if that would give us a different ending. Like... Versus it being ending H? What if I just test it out? Come on. Okay. We're gonna save. Um, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Proposal. Confirm current destination. I feel bad doing this. 
Alert. Leaving the operational area has resulted in significant Allied casualties. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is still ending H. I just wanted to see. Hi Chinatown, welcome in. Waiting for the day, play Final Fantasy X 2. Eventually. <laughs> I don't know when that's gonna be though. <laughs> I have not eaten the fish gem. I didn't know that was a thing. Why didn't the music change? Why didn't the music change before? God. Go Nans. You gotta run faster. Operator 210 here. Do you read me? Operator to 9S, I have bad news and I have good news. Bad first, we've confirmed the presence of two Goliath-class heavy weapon enemies. Two of them? Now, the good news. We've used your previous Goliath combat data to analyze the enemy. And it seems we have identified a weakness. Command has modified a firing unit based on this new intel. It's been installed on a pair of flight units that are heading your way. That's your R&D for you. Check oh your map data. lord. Operator out. Thanks, operator. Thanks. 2B, command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. Okay. Man, everything is so dull. I don't remember it being dull like this last time, but also I just might be remembering incorrectly. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Oh my god, the news! Man, so much destruction. Phoenix, hi. Yes, we are playing as nines. We made it to play through B on Thursday, actually, which is kind of crazy. Uh, can I go back? Okay, wait, I can save here. Let's make sure we save. Oh no, I can't go through that way. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless <gasps> I we remember pass this. through that Okay, legs. okay, yes. We should be careful. Because we had to go under them. They're huge! <laughs> Alright. Stairs time. Um, yeah, I catch the bot at some point. Yes, yes, yes. It was so much fun finding out that we get to play as him. Got your five day warning. I got that yesterday, Trev. How has 14 been treating you today? Um. Hello? Display data on central wiring hub. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Oh. 
Nice. <gasps> Is that too loud? I feel like it's a bit too loud. Nice. Whoa. Oh, what the hell? Can I not hack into him? Oh, there we go. Okay, these hacks, they're fairly easy. Better than the other ones that we had to do. Nice. Let's not do that. <gasps> I did not see that coming. <laughs> okay. Easy. Optimus Prime got a chill, so true. God damn it. Alright, we're almost done with him. Let's go. Let's get to those what we can. He is a slayer. He is a hacker. Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Okay. Thanks. Whoa. Holy crap. All right, we hack again. I think this is gonna be the part where I'm like, I'm trying to remember what happened at this section um, in the first playthrough. I think this is where Nines gets like crucified. And that scares me because we're playing as him. Hi DJ, welcome in. One of the best games I've ever played. I'm loving it so far. So good.
Let's go. <sighs> Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Mm. Okay. Yes. Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. Wait. No, this is where we're gonna meet Adam and Eve. Underground. What the? Unbelievable. Yeah, with pants. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Okay, 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 okay. A little crucify never hurt anybody. It hurt my heart. It hurt my soul. So intense. Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Yo. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need... Oops, I'm sorry. I cut you off. Okay. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Oh my Glory god. to mankind. I use command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much so of plans, true. are you, TB? I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go down there. Although I'm scared. Is Rari high? A year and a half? That is insanity, actually. Thank you so much for the 18 months. Every using your prime. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Okay, we should definitely save. Um, Commander's design is so pretty. It is. Very, very pretty. Okay. <sighs> Let's go down there. I think we have to go down there. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The flooded city. What is this? Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? Oh my god, there's these That's big boys now. Oh, I don't want to fight any of them. Can I just run away? I feel like maybe this is not a good idea to run away. But... There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. Eee. Eee. Stop. Okay. You're creeping me out! Alright. We're fine. Whew. Why are there no human skeletons of mankind extinct? I don't know. It's been so long. It's been a very long time since humankind was existing. Oh shit. I think like 500 years? Oh man. 
Uh, also, Alex, no worries. I hope uni university goes well today. Can you stop that? Okay. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff from that. Alrighty. Let's go into the creepy caves. This hallway looks pretty old. Okay. We got a machine leg. This way? Yes. I hate how dark it is in here. Alright, we found the steps. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. I'm scared. Cause I feel like Nines is gonna see something. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. And then we're probably gonna have to listen to this long ass speech. Dead? To be. Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. <laughs> Hello. You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. <laughs> Aren't you quite the pair? Perhaps we can discuss our current situation. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Okay. Wiped out. And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. Adam. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. Uh! You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon? Oh, Lord! Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. <laughs> because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. Unravel the riddle of humanity. Okay. Yo. Oh, of course, there's gotta be more. Oh my god, this is so bad. Come on! Yo, let's go! <laughs> and now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. 
We need you to locate the humans. Locate the humans on the moon and bring them. It's so hard to focus on what he's saying again, fighting like this. Uh, yeah. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are no. Insane? We'd never do that. Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. This guy's well, bonkers. I suppose <laughs> this concludes negotiations. <laughs> the only remaining option <laughs> is to destroy you the same way we destroyed these. Oh my god. Oh. Time grows short. Why are they like oh. this year? This is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Oh my god. Who are they? That's Adam and Eve. <laughs> Nine's actually pissed. This guy's bonkers. <laughs> oh my lord. Hi, Kira. Welcome in. How you doing? Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's let him complain, actually. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About transporter? We had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness yes. to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Okay. Return to the bunker. Jackass! Hey, hey! How's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Bless you. And I got a stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this right. has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. All right, back to the bunker. Let's save here. Thank God we have transportation now, or teleportation. I killed my father. <laughs> I killed my mother. I killed my father. I killed my mother. And in his hand, he coldly gripped both the joy of growing up and the agony of being alone. What was that? What was that? Okay. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. I feel like any time we cut to one of those scenes, I always just have to like mentally prepare myself. 
about what the fuck's gonna happen or what they're gonna say. You mean that freaky machine we ran into. Freaky machine nine. Pascal is so nice. This Stop. Order comes directly from the council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Do we have that scene while this girl was explaining the sitch? I think so. I'm trying to remember back to when we were playing as 2B and like... If she heard more from the commander. Understood. I don't remember though. Hmm. Okay. Is something wrong? Hmm. I'm confused. Oh, we have mail. Cool. Also, hi, Kira. Kira, how are you? Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? <laughs> and now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? Oh. It's been a while. I'll oh. rest if I feel like it. I mean... Should we rest? Should we just should we just take a little nappy? <laughs> this song is so calming, it really is. Okay, wait, where's nine's quarters? Eight B. 21-0? Are you in here? Uh, Jimmy and watching, let's go. Sounds like a good day. Dines, did I miss? Oh, here it is. Okay. I don't think I need any of these. You know what? No, let's not take a break. We'll go. Oh wait, is there a side quest? Uh, oh, there's a quest up there. Wait, how do I get up there? See, the commander's a real wonk. <laughs> so true. Oh, operator, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm analyzing data. Is this part of your current assignment? No, it is merely a hobby. Wait, really? The world contains a vast amount of data. Coordinates, network node readings, photographic images, and so on. Analyzing this data can often lead to discovering new information. I spend my downtime seeking out such information. It seems kind of boring. I mean, no offense. It is more interesting than engaging in mindless banter. Hey! Still, there might be a way to make this chatter less mindless. There's a data terminal in the abandoned factory that I cannot access with our satellites. If you feel like helping, you can head over there and transfer the data to me. Wonderful. I'll send the coordinates at once. The terminal is kind of hard to find, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you know once I find it. I don't know if I want to do that one. Specifically because we have to go to the abandoned factory and it's hard to find. <sighs> I think you love it there. I don't think so. I don't think so, Kira. <laughs> uh, did I get mail? Oh, the fish. Oh, she wants me to eat the fish. Hmm. Where do we have to go? Here? 
Wizzy, thank you so much for the mod love. I appreciate that. Am I gonna fucking die? Because Chev mentioned something about fish and dying and getting an ending. <sighs> Nines confirm pescatarian, I think so. <laughs> uh, with robot. With robot fish. Not real fish, just robot fish. Jackass, hi! Oh yeah, I still have to give you that stupid fish. So this thing is called a mackerel? Oh, and apparently eating it has a horrible effect on androids. I'd love to see what it does, so go ahead and chow down. Don't blame me if you die, though. Save. You know, just in case. Alright, jackass. I'm gonna do this right in front of you. Um a mackerel. Muscle rigidity and paralysis from eating a mackerel. It was good though. <laughs> Exquisite even. No wonder humans used to eat them. <laughs> Ending K. <laughs> it was good though. Oh nines. Poor guy. <laughs> I'm not a pescatarian, nope. I think, um, I don't, e I don't even think he could be vegan. I think you just might need oil, you know? <laughs> um, resonation, no, you didn't say first. How much, how much more do you have to play? I love our endings. Ugh. Love it. Fish oils. Okay, fish oils. He could definitely eat that. Hopefully. <laughs> An hour? No. Oh my god. That would suck. Okay. Um. So we gotta go to Pascal. Oh, there are a lot of um, side quests that have opened now. <laughs> so many of them. Back here. Okay, this is the resistance camp. I don't know what I want to do first. Turn for someone who deliberately doesn't eat fish. Yes, that's nines. <laughs> He's a fish hater. Get out of here. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Maybe I will go talk to Pascal and then look at some side quests. I'm just like, I'm trying to remember what the heck <laughs> happens next. <laughs> um. 
Forgivable, thank you so much for the prime sub. I feel like your emotes and your sub badge. Welcome in. Okay, we'll go say hi to Pascal. Mm. All right, let's go to Pascal's village. Rio, hi Rio, how are you? How is Persona 5 been treating you? I hope you've been enjoying it. Trying to figure out when quests could close off. Yeah. Yeah, because in, okay, in playthrough A, it seemed like they get closed off before the mission supply, the missile supply mission. Um, I just don't know if that's the same in playthrough B. Need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Pascal, why did you choose not to fight? It's been alive for hundreds of years. We lost countless friends time and time again. But losing friends isn't what scares me. What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing those I care about die all around me. That's why I decided I had had enough. The aliens? You mean the ones who created us? I'm sorry, there's not much I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message from them. I guess you could say that the fact that they never get us orders anymore is also the reason why we quit fighting. Yes to be? Pascal. Yes to be? <laughs> yes to be? Village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? <laughs> I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. Okay. And then we'll get to say hi to A2. <laughs> um, that applies here too? Okay. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Finish the second palace. Almost have the tycoon achievements done. Rio, you're wild. <laughs> That's insane. I feel like I need to go log into the game again and play. Play the card game. Okay, uh, can we quick travel there? I think we can. Um... No, we don't want to go to the factory, please. Where, where did I want to go? We want to go to the forest. Where is the closest location? Okay, city ruins near the tower. That is where we will go. I know last time we fought A2, yeah. I'm excited to see what's gonna change, if anything changes. Maybe Nines will see into her mind. Perhaps? Okay. Oh, that's right. We get to go through the shopping mall. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me 9? Oh. 9S works just fine. 
Well, yeah, but... Nines. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. <laughs> your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? Girl! I think some of us are better at that than others. He's so real for that. Alright. Um... Do you find those side quests you mentioned here before? Uh, was it the one with the animals? Where the robot was protecting the animals? Cause yes. This must be the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. Hmm? No getting through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. All hail the forest, the forest king. king! Who the heck is the forest king? You're getting distracted. Well, what are you- <laughs> Oh no. Ah! Fuck. Man. Combat was never meant to be my forte. There we go. This music so much. Check this guy. He's just running away. Oh yeah. Go back here. Oh, there's another in this area. Did it as nine s Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, my guy. Are you okay? Am I supposed to do this? Let's go! It's going to explode! Huh? Hey, where am I? Um, what's that? Still so hey creepy. There, guys. What's up? <laughs> this thing's weird, Tubi. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No good idea. No! <laughs> okay, what was that? <laughs> so silly. So that's Emil. Yes. Um. Okay, that's your favorite one? He's just a little guy. Like how Nines just becomes murder hungry. <laughs> Nori's like, let's kill it. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay. To the forest king. Looks like the forest is just ahead. All right, there's a traitor here.
by this. Full recovery? <gasps> How many do I buy? Maybe I'll buy four? Cure all sass and heal all? What the hell? <sighs> okay. Perhaps just in case. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Please grace my shop with your presence anytime you please. Will do. Um. Hi, Lothric. Oh yeah, I, I noticed that. Oh. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. Better keep your guard up. I'm aware of how to fight. You just be careful. I will to be. All right, that hurts. No, I missed. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, this might be rough, you guys. This might be rough. Why are they running away? Oh, they're scared. Is it? Oh. Okay. Holy crap. Alright. Get me out of here. I'm Minion! How are you? That was a jump scare! What? <laughs> 256 years ago. They want family. Yeah. Families are good. Hmm. Interesting. I know the random transition that scared the hell out of me. Nines. These machines. They were talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. Nines, are you okay? Like... <laughs> if he's seeing all this... I feel like that'd be kind of overwhelming. You know? Alright, we definitely need to save here. Yes. The lore. I know Freezy, the lore is so good. All right, um... So, Kira, you said this side quest? It's like, you said it's on the left, right? Uh. What is an obligation? Looks like... Okay. 
<laughs> All right, I think over here is an animal one. Yeah. Do you have another quest for me? Oh no! Oh no! What is it? A moose I've been caring for has fallen ill! Oh... I do not know how to repair it. You don't repair animals like you do a machine. But if it's sick, you should try giving it some medicine. Medicine? I'm not familiar with this concept. Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't be. It'll probably be easiest to just bring you some. Try to hang on until then, alright? Uh, nines. We're helping out animals now. Where are we? Over there. Animal care. Okay, what kind of medicine do we need? Search- oh! Search the commercial facility for a recipe that can cure the poor creature. Okay. All right, we can do that. Uh, the one is near Waterfall. Okay, okay. So we're vets now? <laughs> That's new. I assume you have at least some idea where to start looking for animal medication? We'll probably need to recreate old human recipes. Oh. We should be able to find something in the commercial facility ruins. Oh my god, how do I get out of here? We're vets now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back there quick. Get away from me! Okay, there's a save point. Uh, I feel like we're close enough to there that we can just walk there. Also, I'm gonna pin that on the map so I know where I'm going. Okay. Also, thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Crazy Siege! From YouTube! Hi! How you doing? Thanks for coming over to the streams. When the robot isn't looking, can we replace a sick moose with a healthy one? Would it notice? Do you think it would? I feel like- I feel like the robots are smart. The machines are smart. And they would recognize if it was different. Maybe it like, would act differently. Or something. Okay. Um. We're looking for a toothbrush. What's this? Analysis. That is a hygienic tool known as a toothbrush. Humans moved it back and forth across the teeth at a rapid rate to reduce the probability of cavities. Cavities? As in caves? Cavities are bits of de decayed enamel caused by acids in the mouth. The cave analogy is not altogether inaccurate. Hmm. Well, it's got nothing to do with us. <laughs> okay, we're looking for medicine. Amber. Medicine journal. Organic pharma... Pharmacology textbook discovered. The data contained within should prove effective for un unglets <laughs> such as moose. <laughs> Everyone see Final Fantasy 16. Page 278 contains a recipe for an anti-inflammation analgesic <laughs> which has a high probability of <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We haven't even cracked this thing open yet. How do you know what's in it? Contents of this book are can contained in my internal database. What? Why didn't you tell us that when we first started looking for it? Our request for information was not submitted. Well, this has been a glorious waste of time. Let's just make the medicine and get it back to that machine. Okay. Teach the recipe to the life form. All right. Is there anything else in here? It's very pretty. 
Um. Gisek? <laughs> Makes you wonder how humans in the future will see our stuff, right? In like a thousand years. If humans will still exist. <laughs> uh. Writing? Pod, what's this? Analysis. It is a writing implement. Humans use it to record information. Many humans also believe pens were mightier than swords. That's insane. It was a common human idiom, meaning unclear. Wow. We're finding toothbrushes. We're finding pens. They're learning so much about humanity. Um, it's behind a waterfall in the forest kingdom. Okay. I gotta check behind the waterfalls then. Can't be like, I picked up my pen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Oh wait, I don't want to go this way. Are you willing to be one of the first ones to get their minds transferred to a robot? Jay, you're so brave for that. I don't think I could do it. I'd be like, mm, no thank you. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Alright, hi Mr. Machine. Medicine! Thank you, I will administer it immediately. The medicine seems to have worked. She is sleeping soundly. Good to hear. Animals are strange creatures. Unlike us, they cannot be easily repaired. It must be difficult to possess such inconvenient bodies. However, Unlike us, they are also warm. So I've heard. Before I forget, please take this as payment for the medicine. <laughs> Come again, we will be waiting. <laughs> they are warm. They're warm and cuddly. I love how we got beast hide from that quest. You go this way. Hi, hey, Narwhal. Do you have a preference between the two playthroughs so far? Oh. Put your back into it. Oh my god, we're gonna go attack them. Oh! I feel like that might be the waterfall that I need to go behind. There we go. Uh, Narwhal, I don't know. I feel like once I finish this playthrough, I might have a... a better answer for you. But I'm enjoying this one a lot as well. Oh my god, we're not gonna start fishing. Why is it telling me to go fish? Ouch. A big boy. Yikes! Yikes, okay. Maybe we just fight with our swords. I will say though, I like 2B's um, play style better. What's that? Oh, a chip? Deadly heal. I like 2B's play style. Uh, Better than nines. Oh my god, what is this? 
gatekeeper machine. I turn no one away, so you're not a gatekeeper. You are recognized as a friend. Permission to enter granted. Okay. <laughs> yeah, DJ, I really like this OST. What gets me about transferring your mind to machines, that means you're now susceptible to getting your memory rewritten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, are you conscious of what's happening or no? Well, what's, this? what's all this then? Confirming identification code. Huh? What are you? Identification confirmed. Have you ever used a machine? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. So you're new. First time in arena. Yes, but... We hold championship. Fights. We find strongest machine in the world. Prizes await. Good prizes. Good, good prizes. Prizes for winners. Competitors sign in at the front desk. Hell's going on here. You are in. Another Coliseum? You understand how machines feel. That body there, you can handle it. Huh? I know that machine. I've taken control of it before. Good luck. Good, good luck. <laughs> I mean, you've never been here? Oh, so this is also DLC content. Okay, because I saw a Coliseum part in... Or a Coliseum section when I was doing my first playthrough. But it wasn't here. It was, um... What's it called? It was towards the end of, uh, playthrough A. Okay. It said to be recommended- or er, recommended levels level 40. I think I'm like level 30. So I fear trying this right now. But maybe we come back. I love how I was hidden behind a, a waterfall. <laughs> My dad's out there right now! Go, dad! Hmm, so the trick is to get close and then... This machine has a father. They have families. So... Nines would take on the... Take the body of the machine life form. Very interesting. Oh. You're so tiny! Sorry, you can't pick me. You're so small! <laughs> Why are you so tiny and you don't have any arms? Just stubby legs. Hi, Lena. Welcome in. The nines playing is going great. I love him so much. I love playing as him. Um... <laughs> Me so bad. So cute. Do these as 2B wonder if they're easier with 9s as hacks? Maybe. I don't know. I, I feel like you'd have to be really good with hacking. To be honest. Okay, wait. What do they have in the shop? Looking for a deal? Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Just don't ask where I get my parts from, okay? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave. It was very cool. Oh, okay, so this forest one can only be done with nines. Okay, okay. That's what you read? I feel like that would make sense. Because I don't think I remember seeing a red dot here. That indicated a side quest when I was doing my 2B playthrough. All 
right. Oh. Oh, they're still putting their back into it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're getting closer to the castle. I'm so scared. Uh, 100% all the hacking in this costume. <gasps> Lena, you can tell who you're playing as the most. I love it. I love how we all love nines here. Nice. Okay. So I think it's good to get them in like a circle before you start hacking. Because then they like blow up and damage the other machines around them. Like that. Ugh. Oh. Yo, I'm kind of getting better. I'm kind of getting better at this. All right. Slayer nines. Um, Nines is so baby girl. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> I think he's my favorite. My favorite in the game so far. And then 2B. I really love 2B as well. The S in Nines stands for Slay Lady. You're so right. <laughs> so those machines had a king? But how can a concept like loyalty be understood by a machine? Hmm. How about you, Nines? Do you understand loyalty? Aren't you... like, kind of a machine as well? I mean, you're an android. Right. Yeah, loyal to two... To be for sure. Okay, 128 years ago. So a bit more recent. His Majesty, he's dead. The king who gave all for us. Oh. So benevolent and kind, and now he's dead. This sure is sad. They're sad. And then A2 kills the kid. <laughs> I think. <sighs> They're learning sadness. They're learning grief. Loyalty as well, because they're still so loyal to the king, even after his body's gone. I mean, he still has his... Memories, which is apparently his last memento or whatever, but... Yeah. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. So... Holy shit. Wait, so how did this... How did the first king die then? 
Perhaps just from natural causes. Natural causes that a machine would die from. <laughs> so after 128 years, or I guess, yeah, yeah, for 128 years, they've been disloyal. Yeah, the kid's over 128 years old. I like, I don't understand that. I don't even know if machines can grow up or they just like stay the same size the whole time, but... Yep. This looks like a king's castle, all right. I don't really under... I don't think they could grow at all unless they swap out... They swap their memory or data into another bigger machine. Oh god, guys. This section of the game... Quite difficult for me, I can't lie. Okay. Let's go! Had enough printers die of natural causes, exactly! <laughs> so you get it! Get him to be- oh shit! Nice. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, I fell. What? Why can't I get up there? There we go. Watch out for hostile enemies, 2B. Roger that, nine. <gasps> <Zen. laughs> Wait, what did you just say? I forgot Roger that, that happened. Wait, no, that's not what you said. You said nines. Or at least something close to. Cut the chatter and engage the enemy. <laughs> Please, he was so excited about it too. Uh, nines. <laughs> Toby's just too silly. Oh no, I should have hacked into that. All right, let's not do that. Alright, we're gonna hack. It's hacking time. Fuck! <laughs> ah! Okay, we got one. Nice. Oh my god, and that took care of him! Jesus Christ. A large battery. Wait, 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 we need to heal up here. Let me just pick up everything while to be <laughs> while to be does all the attacking and fighting. I get up there last time. Um, I 
Okay, I guess I went through that door. Hmm. Hacking Machines gameplay be like, my main goal is to blow up. Yeah, and act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> Y'all are not sneaky at all. God, I just... I love this environment so much. Like, how freaking cool could they make this game? I, I don't know. What if I just run? What if I just run through here? <laughs> Four hours ago? They're expecting him to grow up. How can we make him bigger? I don't know. We're too dumb to figure that out. <laughs> oh no! Sure <laughs> is a kitty though. Oh my god! <laughs> So cute. Everyone, get out now. Intruders in the kingdom. Don't let them in here. Oh my god, why am I <laughs> why am I crying at that? Oh my god, what the hell? I know, a tiny cute king! They just want him to grow up! But they don't know. They don't know how life works. Ugh. Okay. Very human. Yeah. Feeling dumb and familial love. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. It's fine. Funny that they find uh, it weird that he doesn't grow up. Yeah, not that they don't do it themselves. That is kind of silly. After 128 years. <laughs> God. <laughs> Them just realizing. Oh shit. Okay, wait, where am I supposed to go? How? Okay. Up the ladder. Um. Yeah, for sure, Narwhal. Things turn out so well for them. Uh huh. Here we go. I'm just gonna run past you. Oh god, all right. Oh, we gotta save. I don't like the silence. I don't kill you. Uh, I'm sorry. I have sided with the robots, yes.
Is this their king? Girl. Now, why would she do that? Like, what is her reasoning? She has some reason. She knows something. To be, that's an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. <sighs> Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. To be? Bunker okay. to 2B and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. Yep. She's right in front of us. What you see in front of you is your enemy. <laughs> but she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. Hmm. Okay. Hack right away. Oh. It's very quiet. There's no music. Why is that? Okay. There we go. <laughs> I forgot about that. God, I love oh the eight bit noises when you're trying to hack into her. Or I guess just into the enemies in general. So good. I can't do this. <laughs> Nice. Shit. Oh my god, that almost just knocked me out. Let's go. All right, we got one done. Oof. Stop spawning. Nice. Oh, did we already do it? Why? Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Hmm. Let's go after her, 2B. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! <laughs> Damn. She got away. Oh my god. <laughs> I just killed him. Operator, this is 9S. <laughs> Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. Okay. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. To Come be... on. Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Whether in wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always. 
always together. They never understood why. And yet they spent their lives nestled together. The kingdom? Forever. Forever and ever. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Pascal, this is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom again. All right. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I will be right back, and then we will continue playing. Continue playing. Nine -ish. Wish there was a nine strip crater on the ground. <laughs> I didn't. I did yeah, I did that again. I forgot what the um uh, what I had to use to glide. Literally just belly flopped. So funny. Okay. Uh, give me like two minutes. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, y'all. Stand up and stretch if you need to. Grab some water, grab some food. And then we will go talk to Pascal. Yes, check your EHAS too. 12% is so rude. Alright. The quote. We have to stop the five pillow Pokemon. It's still true, okay? I said that. Oh, back in June? Why does it feel like a year ago? Okay. I'll be right back. One sec. All right. These quotes. Are you an Einstein's hoe? Why did I say that? What was that in the context of? <laughs> anyway. Alrighty. Oh, my mouse is being weird. Okay. Let's continue on. Um, we saved. Yes. 
And now we have to go to Pascal. <laughs> the near quote is so goofy. <laughs> I feel like I'm matching y'all. Estinian's hell? Oh my god. I can't wait to learn more about Estinian in 14. I only know him from the Dragoon quests. I just can't wait to finally start Heaven's Word, to be honest. So we're like, we're so close. Okay. Let's go talk to Pascal about A2. Be faster if you just take a look at this recording. I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. All right, thanks. Okay. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. Oh, there's a we quest. Run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. There's a quest for Pascal. Hello, Ninus. What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you something. Uh, in the end, I suppose it's because conflict has ceased to have meaning for us. Care to explain? We machines are weapons created for the purpose of waging war. However, this war simply goes on and on with no end in sight. We have come to realize that the cost of fighting for us as individuals far outweighs any benefits that victory might bring. I believe we will eventually live to see a day when androids and machine lifeforms are able to live together in peace. Not likely. Why are you so pessimistic? As you know, we are machines. We do not require food or other typical sustenance, as our cores provide a near-infinite supply of energy. We do, however, deteriorate over time, which means we need to procure parts and in initiate repairs. Still, it's not like we break down all that often. To be completely honest, life in the village is rather slow. I don't know if I heard this last time. Why is there a shop in your village, Pascal? It's not like you folks use money. Oh, we do. For us, simple materials take the role of currency. Each machine is an equal, which means the traditional capitalistic acquisition systems of the past don't work for us. Instead, our economy is focused on trading materials according to one's need. It was a lesson we learned from mankind's past history. Most fascinating, don't you think? We made a point, to emphasize, a point of emphasis to teach our children about different economic systems. You should speak to them as the subject is of further interest. Very interesting. Uh, I was wondering if you might help me with a small project. I'd like you could to collect and bring back any information you find regarding the old world during your travels. Really? Why? I'm hoping to use whatever knowledge remains of the old world to make life better for those here in the village. I'll be glad to share anything we find with you as well, of course. So would you be willing to assist us? Thank you. Please show me anything of interest you find. Data on the old world. Interesting. There's a quest here too. You there, you must help me at once. What? Me? My son put some kind of electronic lock on her house and hold his full self inside. I've been sitting out here for ages and he's simply not responding to me at all. Uh, I think what you need is a family counselor. <laughs> I mean, not the machines have families to begin with. Nines, what do we just see, though? Okay. I insist that you help me get this stupid door open. Just break it down and get my son out of there. Alright, alright. Sheesh. Yep, but that's an electronic lock, alright. Um, hello in there? Hello? Your mother is worried about you, so how about you unlock the door and come out? Looks like he's ignoring me. <laughs> D proposal. Destroy the core to open the electronic lock. That seems to be my only option. The recluse. Oh no, how hard is this gonna be? Oh!
Oh, come on, Nans. Come on, Nans, go! Go! Yeah! <laughs> you were so close. Damn, they look stronger than I thought. Okay, I have it this time. There we go. Come on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Foolish child, I was worried sick about you. Why on earth did you barricade yourself in there? Because I was scared. Now that we're cut off from the network, I don't know what people are thinking. They're like monsters. It's scary. Oh, my darling boy, it will be all right. Mommy loves you. Mama! <laughs> so, can I go now, or...? Oh yes, of course! Thank you for your help! And take this, I insist! Nice! I'll try to help my son deal with his fears better from now on. Oh, nice! You're so nice for doing that! Hi, Chris, welcome back. I know the 8-bit Pascal track, so good. Father machine? In a suit and everything. Um... Okay, there's quests up there. Do I want to do this quest? That looks like fun. What you doing? This kid's being weird. Yeah. I asked if he wanted a coin that's low value or one that's high value. He said he wanted the worthless one. Seriously? Hey kid, I've got one coin that's worth a little and one that's worth a lot. Which do you want? Um, the little one. You sure about that? Yeah, cause it looks cool. Thanks a lot. See? He's weird. Yeah, what a dummy. I'm a dummy? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hmm, this little guy might have a bad mathematical processor, or maybe his logic circuits got crossed somehow. I should probably take a look inside. Huh? Oh, poor weird machine! Oh, what? Okay, I don't think we're on a time limit for this one. Oh, come on. Wow, this is more complex than I was expecting. Let me try again. Are we really gonna try again? Yeah, Nine's a therapist. Bought the vinyl soundtrack for this. And Replicant, I actually wanted to look into getting the vinyl as well. But honestly, I'm not sure where to look to get it. Oh my god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't do that. Um. Oh! Let's get this chest. Hey Taco Watson, playing Replicate while you play uh, Atomin is so nice. Hope you do this one too. I will see. I'm definitely not opposed to playing it after I'm done with this one. Because I heard Replicate was very good as well. Um, Square Enix Store might still have it. Oh, so it's on the Square Enix Store. Okay. Um, or it might be. Vinyl's crazy expensive. Oh, so maybe they're sold out and people are like trying to resell them? Because if so, that sucks. Okay. Where do we have to go? Go to the resistance camp. Okay. Let's go.
The figures? They're expensive too. Lena, do you have any figures? 9S, why did you ask oh. Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable in its own way. <laughs> Thanks, to be. Still, mm. machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. Nine. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent achievements. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. Really? I'm happy to hear it. I couldn't have done it without your support, Operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and- <laughs> Flattery is unnecessary. Operator 210, out. I really meant it, though. <laughs> Nice, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's just a sweetie pie. He's just a baby. <laughs> oh. Man, I love them. You promoted your first figure ever a while ago. <gasps> a day for one. They'll ship early 2024. Oh my god. Gorgianus Tifa. I'm just patiently waiting for my catching android to get in. I think it's supposed to come in in January. And I also ordered the Joker Nendroid, which I don't know when that one's supposed to come. I think in December. Okay. Ooh, you're a scanner, aren't you? I know everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but you can ask me anything you want to know about hacking. Oh. Did I talk to this guy before? I thought this lady told me about that. Oh, okay. Hi. All right, an enemy. Let me see what this quest is first. Hmm, is something wrong? You're from Yorha, right? I don't suppose you'd. The thing is, I recently came out on the losing end of a scuffle with some machine life forms. The battle ended corrupt ended up corrupting a portion of my memory, which is a serious pain as I'm sure you can imagine. Take these photographs for instance, I have no idea where they were taken or even what they are. I only know that they are important. Okay, so we did this one. Um... I don't think I need to do this one again. I'm sorry. Forgot you ordered the Akechi Nendo, yes! I can't wait to see you. Oh, 2B. Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The Resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately... Oh god, this is a missile mission. Toes. Of course. If you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Uh, I don't want to do the missile mission. <laughs> I don't want to do the missile mission. I'm scared. <laughs> this is resupply already. Crazy. I feel sick. I'm sick. Okay. There are... There are side quests that we need to do, though, before we do this. Um... Okay, Freezy, I have a question. I have a question for you. So this says I should do the Yorha Betrayers quest. I did that in playthrough A. 
I should also do it in playthrough two. Or I guess this playthrough as well. I think that's what you're saying. I think the... Wait. Oh, just available in either. Okay, you can skip it. Okay. So then I need to do... Gather intel. Emil's memories. Oh, I should do the data analysis side quest as well. And then amnesia. Okay, I think I already have the data analysis one. Yeah. Go to the abandoned factory. Yay! Okay. Data analysis. And Mill's memories. I'm not exactly sure where to pick up Emil's memories side quest. But I know last time we saw Emil, he was near the desert. Abandoned <laughs> factory hype. Emil's memories is amazing. I can't wait to learn more about him. Desert is there. <gasps> okay, desert camp. There is Emil. Let's go say hi to him. Yeah, Squids, I'll take a hint. I'll take a hint on where I need to go. Also, yeah, sir, hello. Thanks for grabbing your seat. Have you doing well today? And so, Muggy, say you fell asleep on your couch without trying. Oh, Lord. I hate when you accidentally take a nap. Like, I love naps. I love when I, like, want to take a nap. And I intentionally do it. But when you randomly fall asleep, that's the worst. I don't like it personally. Okay. Oops. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I remember you from the other day! Sorry I got startled and ran away. Or, or rolled away, I guess. My name's Emil and this is my shop. Wanna buy something? I'll get the best prices anywhere! These are like, these are hacking? Hacking chips? Why w what? Enemy level plus four? Why would I want to raise the enemy level? Okay. Let me buy this. And maybe this too? Just see what they're like. Um, Nap Roulette is a fun game. 
feel like you skipped an hour of life. Yeah, tend to stay up late. Guess it's your own fault. I feel that. Um. You need to find a flower that's important to Emil. There are a few of them around the world. Okay. I saw a flower in the convenience store. Or the shopping center. Is that one of them? Hi, Ben. Have you played the older gamer remake? No, I have not. This is my first ever near game. Instrument sounds like it play at someone's graduation. Yeah. It levels up plus four enemies you control. Oh, not not normal enemies. Oh, you can hack enemies that are four levels higher? That's kind of confusing. Still kind of confused at that. I look forward to serving you again. What was that? You wanna know where I live? Uh, I don't think I asked about that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So there's new stuff. I think I remember someone saying this last time. Thanks, Brendo. Welcome. Thanks, Brendo. Welcome. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Does it tell you where to start Thanks, the quest? Brendo. For Emil's memories, I don't think so. I if you're talking about like if it tells me where to start the quest on the spreadsheet that I have, no, it doesn't. Um, Daniel got Final Fantasy fourteen. Nice. I hope you enjoy it. Look at the map. Maybe this is it? Because this is the convenience store. Um, and I remember seeing a flower there. So you know what? We can go back there. So if you hack an enemy without it noticing, you can control it. The chip levels up the enemies you control. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I want to go here. Yes. I think I might try to pick up these side quests first, and then we could go to the abandoned factory just in case. Just in case there are multiple side quests that want me to go there. Because for some reason, this game loves that place. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> Hi, Babby. Welcome in. How's it going? So before you they attack, you hack them. You can oh, you get an options menu. Okay, okay. It's away from me. I can't believe the size of the commercial facility. The people of the old world must have led pretty good lives. I bet it was fun to shop back when you had so many choices. We don't need such things. Don't be so sure about that. Once we eradicate the machine life forms, us soldiers won't have anything left to do. We'll enter a new age of peace. And when that happens, we should go shopping together. I could buy you, I don't know, a t-shirt maybe? Something that looks good on you. A t-shirt? What, not interested? Hmm, when that day comes. I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. That's some of my favorite dialogue. Mm, that's a strange flower. In the game so far. Analysis. It is a plant known as a lunar tear. A lunar tear. <sighs> uh, huh? He got here when quickly. Did you get here? So this flower is called a lunar tear. Seeing that dredges up all kinds of memories. 
Some of them are a bit strange, honestly. Like the one where I'm being attacked by a giant boar over and over again. Oh no! Or another where I keep trying out new parts every time my body is damaged. Sounds rough. Something about this flower fills me with an emotion I don't really understand. It's like something's pushing down <gasps> on my chest really hard. So, um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? If you find lunar tears growing anywhere else, would you let me know? Sure. I want to try and figure out what this feeling is all about. What do you say? Of course. Is this... Aww, thanks! If you find another lunar tear, just let me know on this frequency, alright? I'm counting on you! <laughs> the way he zooms away! <laughs> um, can someone tell me who is voice actor this is for some reason i feel i hear christina v but i don't think it's christina v i don't think that's morgana morgana is one of the operators i'm pretty sure um julie ann taylor who else does she play add some locations <gasps> freezy Okay. Oh yeah. From the bunker. Okay. Um. Oh god. So... We have to find lunar tears. Are they on the map? Yes! Okay, good. How many of them are there? One, two, three... Four. It looks like there's four. <laughs> Let's go to the forest. Known for a role of I, Tanabe, in planets? Otohime. Yukari, Hayasaka, and Taiga Fujimura. Huh. I don't recognize any of those characters. Maybe it's because she talks about, like... Um... Or she talks like... A lot of anime dub voice, or voice actors talk. <laughs> I know this is a bit out of left field, but you look like someone who cares very deeply about gastronomy. Does Ninas look like he cares about gastronomy? <laughs> See, I'm doing research about food for whatever the human race decides to return to Earth. Those humans were always going on about eating, right? Well, also clothing and shelter, but mostly eating. Anyway, I'm collecting ingredients from across the land for research purposes, and I'm betting you'd like to help me out. Uh, right? I don't know if I want to... Really? I thought I'd peg you as a foodie for sure. Well, let me know if you change your mind. <laughs> I mean, he did try eating a fish, but that didn't go so well. We kind of died. A pickup line in the clubs, hey. Me, me and Limza tonight. Hey. You look like someone who's really into gastronomy. Uh oh. No. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I just want to find a flower! <laughs> um, do you get any other endings today? I got the fish one, which... was ending K? So now we have endings A, H, and K, or... Ack. Um... 
Um, is this a flower? Yes. Hi. This is a lunar tear, right? We'd better let Emil know. Hey there, guys. What's up? We found a lunar tear. It's located at. Stay right there. I'm coming. Uh, okay. I hope he doesn't expect me to just stand here all day. Sorry to keep you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Now that I think about it, this whole area was once. Are you remembering something? It's all pretty fuzzy, but I seem to have a memory of caring for Aww. this flower a long time ago. But the sand kept expanding, and the flowers gradually wilted. Now that I think about it, that was around the same time I stopped seeing people. You mean humans? Hmm. Thanks a bunch for finding this. Really. Oh, and let me know if you find any more, okay? Humans. I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Okay. Hmm. He is lost in thought. Alright, where to next? I'm just gonna go up this river. So Emil must have been around for a long time? If he's seen humans or like remembers humans. I don't know how to get out of here. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to intrude. I'm, I'm just gonna run away. Okay. Okay, I don't want to do anything to you guys. One of your favorite side quests in this game, really? Seems like a lot of you really like this one. It was recommended. Recommended for me to do. Okay, uh... Next. We could go to the desert. I really don't like going to the desert. I guess we could do that. So we want to go to the desert... Camp? Yes, desert camp. Um... Have you been to shopping malls, your favorite little area? I know, I really like this place too. It's very peaceful. And it se it like seems safe, because it's enclosed. There's waterfalls everywhere. Yeah, wonder why I wouldn't like going to the desert. Okay. Those crazy <laughs> those crazy um enemies. Oh my god. Fighting Adam for the first time. Not fun. Not fun down there at all. We did have that funny side quest with the sister, though. I was like, how? How are babies made? What else did she ask? I forgot what else she asked. <laughs> yeah, so they're watching the robots try to hook up. Have sex with each other. Uh... Okay, wait, let me save here. I should probably mark on my map where I'm going. Okay. I want to go there. Oh, right. Where does the wind come from? Did we ever get an answer to that? I feel like nine's kind of answered. She was so real for asking that, though.
Get away from me! Slay. Ow. Okay. We're looking for a flower. Any flowers over here? Okay, we can't go there. Oh no. Getting to those flowers, something. Oh god, really? Maybe it's like. <sighs> Maybe it's on top of one of the cliffs somewhere. <laughs> like up there. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it has to be because I see I see a thing that you can pick up on top of that cliff. I just have to figure out how to get up there. You hate this flower? Oh no! Why did I choose so this one? Those numbers from the resistance camp as coordinates. Yeah, we're pretty much standing right oh. on top of whatever they're pointing to. So this is for a different quest. Thanks. Nine S. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. What did- what did Andres do? What? I don't understand. I guess we keep killing the machines. <laughs> Han, analyze this machine. Huh? What for? Call it professional curiosity. Analysis. This machine life forms comrades were destroyed. Uh -huh. Driven by that grudge, it lured a resistance member oh. to this location. It then proceeded to destroy him. Are you wow. saying this thing wanted revenge? Oh, come on now. That concept is far too complex Nines. for a machine. Nines! It happened right in front of us! This corpse. I wonder if it's the resistance member we're looking for. Let's check his memory. Seems this one came here looking for revenge as well. I guess the weaker one lost. Mmm. <sighs> Man's journal and memory trip. Memory chip. <sighs> no, literally freezing. I was like, wait, I'm literally attacking you right now. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to feel terrible telling that woman what happened to her friend. It's the truth. She has to know. No matter what that truth actually is. Mmm. <laughs> Nines. <sighs> Machines having intelligence. Yeah, it's far too complex for him. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, does someone want to give me a hint on how I should get up there? Actually, you can just tell me. This is a pineapple question. How do I get up there? Don't think it's platforming. Okay. You need to go under the map? You have to go under. Kale, you think so too? To go under? There's a cave in the middle of the map. Okay. Man. Press R and B at the same time. Or was it R3 midair? Oops. That didn't do anything. Oh, wait, 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 that did something. What did I just do? <laughs> oh, that was a pod jump? Um... I have to jump across it, okay. Well, let's try to find this cave. I feel like maybe I should just Google this. Lance can get more reach too? A G-shaped structure on the map. Okay, let me see where that is. I might just Google it because... Oh, is it this? Because the stream delay and stuff. The middle structure in the... Area? Okay. Let's go. The most unfriendly map ever, yeah. This map is very confusing to me. I feel like they did that on purpose. So if you press attack right as you jump, you'll do a launcher attack. Ah, yes. That's very cool. Now... Who's gonna be going down here? <gasps> I'm so sorry, Nats. I'm so sorry, I just let you belly flop again. Oh. What's all this? Easy. Did that just close on me? Oh, okay. It'll open back up again. Mmm, those are enemies and I don't want to fight you. Okay, we can get that. I'm scared of falling off that cliff. Get away from me! Get away from me! Why are y'all running so fast? Is this the way I came in? Oh, this is not a hacking one. Okay, wait, no. I think I'm in the right place. Or I'm going to the right place. Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm really gonna have to jump. <laughs> jump across here? <sighs> okay. 
I'll be okay. No! <laughs> I thought I'd be able to do that. Uh, is it Kita? Hello. This game is on the PS5. Yes. Um, I think it's the PS4 version, though. So that's the wrong exit, so I don't have to go through there. Well, go to that exit. There's a different one. So I don't have to parkour. Well, I might not have to parkour. Okay, we try again. Oh my god, I just keep letting him fall on his face. Okay, at least we're finding new chests. Nice. Project Gestalt Report 6? What is that? Can I look at that? Scary! I didn't know I had that! I don't like that! <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I feel like every five minutes I learn something new about this game and I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? Okay. So that was for... Data on the old world. Deliver the information on the old world to Pascal. I will definitely have to do that. The way it has eyelashes. <laughs> Very creepy. <laughs> I want to save here. Just in case. The falsy sleigh. Okay. Uh. Okay. I see. I see. I see. So I think I need to go jump over there. Nice. Where the hell is this flower? Am I in the wrong place? <sighs> okay, just for confirmation, is it right there? Is it like straight that way there that I need to go? Yes? Okay. There's no way you fall, but ghosting, what if I do? <sighs> okay. Got it. Oh! Well, I hope the flower's over here. 
<laughs> practice jumps. <laughs> Mysterious lithograph four. There you are. I'd better tell Emil. We did it, Joe. <laughs> hey there. What's going on? I found one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at. Don't move an inch. I'm coming. <laughs> Don't move. I'm actually kind of busy. We're not Sorry busy. You. We're not busy at all, nine. You're fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I remember now. Back when the aliens first invaded. Oh shit. I fought as hard as I could to save Earth. You did? I think I had something I wanted to protect. Something really precious to me. What's but that? I don't know what it was. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Okay. Okay, Emil. We'll let you know. So he was- he was literally here! During the invasion, that's... Insane. Hmm. It's been a long time. I know, I also have questions on how he got there. This man is fast. This machine is very fast. Going through all those caves. Maybe just climbing up the rocks. I don't know how he does it. Okay, I hope over here is the closest. Uh, oh wait, let me look at my map. Hi Panda, how are you? Okay, yes, we wanna go over there. Well, that's where he could just find them himself. I mean, that's true, but he also has a shop to run freezy. He's gotta make his G. He's gotta cater to us too. <laughs> um. Drove up the wall, yeah. I think that's what happened too. Okay, next up. Hopefully the next place is not as difficult. Where's that? Park ruins. Okay, so if we go to the park ruins... We could also visit Pascal. I think I would want to go to Pascal's first. Just to learn more about this report that we found. And then... We can go find the other flower. Food truck business model. <laughs> yeah, he goes where the G is. Support local businesses. I would always shop at Emil's... Emil's truck. I don't know if he has a spe specific name for his shop, but... <laughs> Alright. Wait, do I talk to you, Pascal? Hey Pascal, is this the kind of old old world information you were looking for? Ah, thank you so much! I find this data from mankind to be ever so fascinating. I know it's not much, but please take this as thanks. That's it? <laughs> I thought you were gonna tell us about it! I guess he has to analyze it first. You can read. Oh, wait, you can read an intel? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I thought this was in our um items. All right. Mysterious lithograph 4, rule 106. Thou shalt not live on level ground. This rule has its origins in a tragic past. We masked people originally inhabited the plains along the coast, but one day our village was destroyed by a great wall of water. This rule is a valuable teaching that represents what our ancestors learned from that disaster. Tsunami? Project Gestalt Report 6, April 1st, 2044. 
Today's meeting was cancelled due to the absence of a majority of members. The contact network for urgent absences is to be confirmed at a later date. That's it! <laughs> it's fine. What was it, like a April Fool's joke? <laughs> Okay, god damn it. Oh. Spirit of fire, treasured items, parent side, and the kind king. Picture books. Okay, they call these picture books. And I think Nines is narrating them, yes? Hmm. Hi Ying, welcome back. <laughs> I know long stream era continues. Guys, I could stream this forever. Weapon stories. I think I read all those already. Unit data. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So this is like a compendium of all the enemies. Um. Androids. She looks so slay. Look at that outfit. A Yorha deserted that used to be a captain. It had a deft command of multiple weapons and switched easily between them in combat. Ordered to be apprehended by command for abandoning its post, it put up a fierce resistance before being destroyed. Very interesting how they say it. 22B. 64B. A2. Oh my god, she's so slay. Marks? Interesting. Why don't we all have... We have all these weapons? Oh, with a weapon list? We oh got Simone. Grun. <laughs> I don't remember fighting this thing. Emmanuel! This small machine life form known as the Forest King was destroyed following the sudden appearance of the android A2. Oh man. Kierkegaard. So this was their founder. This was the creepy cult stuff earlier. Interesting. <laughs> um, Lizzie, thank you so much for the mod love. I appreciate it. Yeah, the become as gods one. The one Andrew had like, oh, oh, I, I see what you're meaning, Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish we could have all those weapons, too. Okay. Now, we are gonna go... I think we need to go to the park? Yes. So we want to go to the attraction square. And I think after this one, there's gonna be one more we have to get. Month. I should really add that emo. I always see it in other people's streams. <laughs> With consent only.
All right, nines. Park one super easy. Oh, it better be. Otherwise, I will be upset. <gasps> yes, thank you. Literally just it's in the corner. <laughs> I'd better tell Emil. Hey there, what's up? I found a Luna. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sorry to keep you. As speedy as always, I see. Oh, oh, that's right. What happened here, Emil? I was fighting the aliens. It wasn't going well. So I decided to create multiple versions of myself to help with the fight. Whoa. But the aliens just kept coming. I lost so many friends that day. Oh. It was a long time ago, but still. Say, Emil, how old are you anyway? I'm not sure. I didn't need that memory to fight. So you just forgot it? Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Okay. Emil. Hmm. Hi, is it Bree? Welcome in. Always cool to see people experiencing near ultimatum for <laughs> the first time. I'm loving it so much. Um. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you for the follow as well. There are side questing. Do you have any theories on how the rest of this playthrough will play out after 2B and 9 separate? See, I was trying to think of that. I like... I have no idea what could happen. I mean, obviously we're gonna probably see what... Dines went through when he was like captured by... who was it? Adam? Okay, so we want to go to... Do we want to go to the flooded city? Coast? Um... But I feel like I don't really have, like... Series. I just feel like we're gonna obviously see Nine's point of view. Uh, is it Jogi? Hello! Thanks for grabbing your seat. Welcome in. Yeah, it'll be totally fine, Phoenix. Nothing bad's gonna happen. It's not gonna be upsetting at all to see. Just like me after math. Didn't need that memory to fight, yeah. Hi, is it Jinto? Welcome in. Should Alana visit the big roundy thing from the desert sometime? What's that? The big roundy thing? I'm scared. I'm scared of what that is. Okay. We want to go this way. Why must we read all these books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. <laughs> Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Eve's always just going along with Adam. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right. But only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. <laughs> extra, extra hard. He's like a child. Also, did this just start my mission? 
I hope it didn't. Let me look at my map quick. Oh shit. I don't know what to do! There are lots of other side quests I want to do before we start this um, missile supply mission, so maybe I have to wait to do this final Emil quest? Yes. Could save and see if it starts mission or not. That's true. Okay. Let me... Let me make a whole new save file. Do the quest without doing the main quest. Okay. As long as you don't step into the mechs, it should be fine. Alright. We'll try it out. I saved. Just in case. Let's go nines. I'm just gonna run from all these guys. I'll see Yeah, Yang. I got ending K. here was bombed out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. We ate the fish. Nines died. Target missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Don't say that! The androids don't need to bathe. Don't as say that! As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It still feels good. Oh! I should probably tell Emil <laughs> about this lunar tear. Sorry to keep you! <laughs> I didn't even contact you yet. Oh my God. Can you get away? Can you get away, please? Emil, are you okay? I just remembered. I... Hmm? <laughs> Thank you again. You've helped me remember an important place. Oh? A oh. place very special to him. To him? And thanks. I'll tell you how to visit it. Please take this key. Okay. Elevator key. Oh. What's it for? It'll let you access the elevator <gasps> in the shopping mall. Uh, you should head there whenever you have the time. I'm sorry. I need to stay here for a while. You go on ahead. Okay. We're getting out of here. I was wondering how to get in there. <laughs> All right, we'll go there now. Uh oh. Alright. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> um. Yeah, they were just waiting. <laughs> Can't say what the big round thing is. Kind of a spoiler. You should see it. Uh, can. Can do it way. Oh, way later too? Okay. Wait, do I want to go that way? Yes. All right, we're gonna go to the shopping center. Um, I forgot which transport we need to go to. That's a data analysis thing. 
Oh, it's right here. Okay. So you want to go to the city ruins near the tower. There we go. I need to make sure I save as well. All right, Nans. Let's go learn about Emil. We're gonna save first. Yeah. <laughs> Could I be walk the whole way? <laughs> Do you know how long that would take? <laughs> when you think of shops in this game, you can't help but think of the time Nanos was like a shopping mall. Oh, yes, yeah, so if we don't buy things in shops all the time, yeah. I guess it's just so surprising to see all these shops, or like the possibility of there being a bunch of shops in one place like this. I do really like this area, though. Okay, so this, this must be what Emil's key is for. Uh, use the key. Now, what are we gonna witness? Do you want to talk about the weather? <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Are these all flowers? Wow! So Look pretty! At all the lunar tears! Where are we? Thank you for coming! Neil, <laughs> what is this place? It's the place from my memories that I work so hard to protect. Or, to be exact, the place protected by the person I used to be. Uh, sorry. Oh. I don't get it. A long time ago, I was created to be a weapon. Oh. A weapon that could adapt to any environment, and one capable of total destruction. Your... A weapon? When the war against the aliens started, I decided to strengthen that weapon by creating copies of myself. Interesting. So, in truth, I'm only one of a countless number of Emils. I, or we, I guess, worked with each other to keep our defensive lines intact. But the more of ourselves we created, the more our original memories mm. began to fade. The original Emil liked this place a lot. He spent a lot of time here with people he loved. They were tough times, sad times. But the memories of that journey were his greatest treasure. That's sweet. And I have a few traces of those memories in my own mind. Where's the original Emil now? I don't know. There were so many of us that after a while, we just... Oh. And there's still something that all of us Emils need to settle. Hmm? <laughs> oh, right. I should probably repay you for all of your what help. What do you need to settle? Please take this. A lunar tear. It's said that a lunar tear can make any Aww. wish come true. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's really oh, sweet. No. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You've helped me find some of my precious memories. <laughs> now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone. Oh, oh, I got a trophy for that. You've helped me find some of my precious memories. Now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone. This is so pretty. I want to look at this quest. Oh. He was built as a weapon. I can't believe that. 
You're Emil. Wistfully explain how echoes of that memory lingered on inside him. Oh. Yeah, this is a really nice song. So, uh, the song live of the concert murdered me and brought me back to life again. <laughs> oh. Oh. Animal bait. Gold ore. 2000 G. It's so beautiful in here. Oops. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Friends. I'm guessing Emil didn't sleep here. It was someone else. Okay. What is this item? Lunar tear? Nice, you look so cute! <laughs> you look so cute, Nines. Oh. You've helped me find some of my- Okay. Emil, that was great. Thank you so much for the flower. There's another chest with lore in it. Oh, near the tent? Wimps. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Near the tent? Oh, I see, I see. That was so hidden. Oh! Okay. <gasps> yeah! Oops. Okay, so this is an intel. Uh... Project Gestalt Report 10. April 18th! April 18th, 2764? We've received troubling reports from multiple administration zones that the replicants have started to behave as if they have deployed sent developed senses of self, and is currently under investigation what implications this might have for Project Assault as a whole. As other disclosable matters have been already been directed to the Administrator's Union, they have been omitted here. This Project Gestalt has been going on for a long time. What's going on? What's going on with Project Gestalt? <laughs> That's worrying. Very worrying. Your birthday, Astral, April 18th? <laughs> Even in 2700. Something? Some of them. Man. <laughs> Do we become his gods? I say what the big roundy thing is, think now be fine. Um I feel like maybe wait. Maybe wait a little bit. Okay. So we finish Emil's memories. Um... 
Gather intel. Did I do gather intel? Cleared quests. I did not do gather intel. We also need to do data analysis. Um, and amnesia. Okay, let's check out the data analysis one. That's the one in the abandoned factory. Fuck. I'm gonna look up how to uh, start the gather intel quest. From the resistance camp. Okay. Let's go back there then. Yeah, I left out to get a tissue. Oh, I didn't want to get another. <laughs> that song is very beautiful. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. All right, we're gonna go to the resistance camp. Humans disappear. Even their bones? Only androids walk around? Wow, Astral. I guess we gotta prepare for that. Or maybe there's nothing we can do to prepare if... We're not there. <laughs> we're not there at all. <laughs> Gestalt is the German word for shape. That's interesting because... In one of the picture books... Uh, it talked about like, a bunch of different shapes. I don't think it's that one. What is the gather intel quest? So this? Oh. 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 Hey, you're back. So how'd it go? Did you find him or? Sorry, I'm very sorry, but your friend is dead. Oh. He was trying to get revenge against the machine that killed his comrades. No. Oh no. But he wasn't strong enough and the machine ended up killing him instead. Damn the machines. I'll murder them all. Oh, easy. It's okay. We took out the one that killed your friend. You did? Yes, we did. Which means there's no need for anyone else to go seeking revenge. But what do I do now? I have no one to love and no one to kill. I have nothing. That's not... Come on, Nines. Look, we'll come back, okay? We'll come back and check on you. Ooh. The song? Are playing. <laughs> uh, do you think it'd be better if you lied to her? Honest discussion. I feel like they deserve to know the truth. That's my take on it. Um. This song is so beautiful. I love it so much. May the right choi right choice, thank you. Thank you. I think. <laughs> oh god. Um How do I 
start gather intel? Gather intel side quest. Where to find this quest? Okay, so we're just we're just gonna do the data analysis free quest. That one was from twenty one zero or two one zero. Okay, let me make sure I save. It's time, y'all. We're gonna go to the abandoned factory. Yay! Everyone cheer. Both amnesia and gather intel should be around. Oh, around the moose field. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming. Ah! Hi, James. Welcome in. What mascara is that ball using? I think that's actually using falsies. Um, oh, what's the name of that brand? I forgot the name, but... Oh, Resistance Disappearance updated? Check on the woman at the Resistance camp. Oh. That's strange that it updates when I leave. The camp. Hi! I guess maybe it's like, oh, just wait a little bit, see how she deals with the the grief and the trauma, and then go back to her and see how she's doing. Oh wait, but Nines literally said, we'll be back to check on you. Never mind. Okay. Um... Let me look at my map again. Where do we have to go? We want to go here. Great. <sighs> Is there anything down here? No. So no, we got 2B stuff down here last time. Just here for trauma. Love it. Love that we all get to go through this together. Even though we all know what's coming. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just here to play. Here for the ride. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish. I wish it was a, a feel good buddy um, comedy. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. What if. Okay, I can't go in that way, obviously. But what if. I just ignore all the enemies. Oh. And we just like speed run. Speed run through this factory. Oh lord. This whole place is like a giant machine's nest. Uh -huh. I wonder what it used to be like. Accessing historical records. Analysis. This location was once used for weapons production and experimentation. No kidding? What kind of weapons? Humanoid combat robots. Common examples include the P-22 and P-33 models. Human-shaped weapons, huh? Wonder if they worked like flight units. Unknown. Ow. No image-based information exists. Me so. You're hurting me. I wonder if a meal was made here. Ah. 
Hi, Misho. <laughs> Hi, Kawa. He oh, wow. I didn't see you here. He was sitting on my lap, and then his claws were digging into my legs. It was hurting. Um, as someone who doesn't really cry, uh, this and Replicate made you blubber like a baby. I'm so scared. Oh, Breezy, update the wrong sheet. Okay. I will check that out. Thank you. I know. He would, he turned my leg into a biscuit. He was just trying to make some biscuits. Oh. Get away from me. Am I going the right way? I hope so. Yes! Okay, it looks like we are. We have to get over there. Um... <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I thought I just fell down that whole thing. <laughs> Get away from me! Uh... Okay. Should we go in here? Are you watching me, so? Are you having a good time? No, 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 no. This is where we came in. Okay, so we have to keep going up. Place confuses me. Bilotti, hi! Thanks for grabbing your seat. How are you? What the hell? Where'd I go? What? Oh my god, wait, this is where this is where we saw the brother, right? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Alright. I think <sighs> Let me go down here. Are, are we able to go through this door down here? No, I feel like I'm definitely going the wrong way. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Hi Jonathan, welcome in. I'm doing good, how are you? Oh, this is a real cat. Are you tired? He's really tired today. <laughs> Leech, you're so right. You're so right. This is like the um, Yama Ichome fighting the Ginza line. <laughs> Getting lost is part of the near experience. Okay, so I'm not alone in this. Sometimes I'll be playing through this and I'll be like, I hope people were as confused as me at certain points. Or didn't know what the hell they were doing at certain points. Okay. Oh my god, they're just falling from the ceiling! What the fuck 
am I supposed to do? I I swear I got over there before. Does someone want to help me? <laughs> this is a pineapple. How? How am I supposed to get over there? Go that way. This way? <laughs> Astro, please. I need a pineapple, yeah. <laughs> Go backwards. Okay, back this way. Let's let's look at my map again. Maybe that would help. Okay. We're like we're so close. On one of the top-down view rooms, you can go to the far right under some stairs. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what, let's grab this. Factory cafeteria sign? Okay. <laughs> A cafeteria sign? Let me see what that is. Maybe it's an intel. Um... Weapons? No? Factory cafeteria sign! August menu! All this sounds so good. They're having l Whoa! Wait, they're having lots of potatoes. Whoa. <laughs> Croquettes, french fry surprise, meatless meat and potato stew, buttered potatoes, potato curry, potato salad, potato gratin. All meals must be consumed in full. Employees who do not consume their meals will have their workload increased by 30%. Okay. Do I I feel like that had to be made by a robot or machine that learned that humans really loved potatoes. Like every single type of potato is good. Okay, we're on a top-down place. Oh, I see. <gasps> I think I can access the data over there. Oh my god, we got it. We did it, Joe. Get him! Get him! Nice. Data analysis freak That's update. What now I just have to send it to her. Alert. Poor reception in this area is of preventing course. data upload. Proposal. Unit 9S should move to an area with better reception. Got it. We will do that. Let me get this chest first. Cure all and heal all of Ting. <gasps> What's this? Yes! We can lower this bridge! Thank you! Yay! Okay. We don't need to go back that way. Um... A vegan robot with an obsession <laughs> for carbs, yeah! <laughs> French fry surprise! 
<laughs> what? What's the surprise with the french fries? What do y'all think it would be? French fry surprise? I'm kind of getting the feeling that they'd make like... Poutine? That has french fries in it. Except without the meat. Because I think there's meat in poutine, right? They don't eat meat apparently. Vodka! Vodka would be the surprise. Oh my god. That would be so gross. Fries just dipped in vodka. With mustard? Oh, I'm not a mustard lover. I hate mustard actually. Gravy and cheese curds. Oh, not necessarily meat. I always should be good enough. Pod, upload that data to operator two one oh. Affirmative. Operator 210 to 9S, come in. This is 9S. I received the data you sent. It's fascinating. It appears to be the journal of a human who once worked in the factory. Oh. What, like a diary? Yes. According to this, the man worked long hours on an almost daily basis. He says, and I quote, they are working me like a machine. Mm. Working like a machine to build a machine? Humans truly were strange creatures. Sounds like it. Doesn't surprise me. i reward later. Wait, I can get rewarded for doing this? I didn't say you would not get a reward. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> He's so baby. Hey, don't disconnect me. Uh. <laughs> Report. Mail notification received from access point. <laughs> oh. Hi, Goose. Welcome in. Hey. You're hurting me. Okay, wait. Let's check. Our inbox? Okay, that's just about the IT stuff. Ooh, medium recovery tech manual. Thank you. So I think we can complete another one. Let me transport over to the bunker right now. Go talk to her. Your fries dipped with ice cream, enjoy. I am. I okay, not with ice cream, but like with a milkshake. That's very good. Or yeah, with a frosty too. I haven't had a frosty in so long. It sounds really good though. I have to think about what I'm gonna have for dinner. I am still considering making a rice bowl with a fried egg and um burkake. No, I missed. <laughs> Why French fries and milkshakes? Yeah, exactly what Haley says. Sweet and savory. The sweet and salty taste really good to me. I'm busy trying to analyze the alien signal, but I'm not really getting anywhere. Oh, I thought I'd be able to. Pick up another quest from you. Okay, never mind. Um, so now I think we have to go to the moose area. And that is... On top of a building by the moose field. And then to the desert. Okay. 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 And then amnesia is inside the building you first land on after the tutorial. We're going to go to the resistance camp first. You like sweet and spicy? Speech habanero craft soda. Oh wait, that sounds really good. I would like to try that. I do enjoy a sweet and spicy as well. You know what I used to dip my chicken nuggets in? I always used to dip my chicken nuggets in honey. 
at school, at McDonald's. I was such a, a honey enjoyer. Okay. Where are we? Okay. We're here. Right? Emil? Wait, Emil's out there? Okay, I think these are the two quests that we need to pick up. So let's go out there. Sweet and sour sauce! Oh my god. Sweet and sour sauce is so good. Um... Fries and vanilla milkshake for you. Oh, other flavors feel weird to you. Like other flavor milkshakes. Oh. Operator 210 to 9S. Come in, 9S. I'm Hello. here. I've sent you a new data retrieval request. Please read it. Over. Hey, wait just a she didn't even give me a chance to turn her down this time. <laughs> okay. Now we get the the data analysis freak too. Oh my god, Emil! Hi. Get away from me! Now how the heck am I supposed to get on that building? Let's go to that one first. Oh, I don't think that's what I want to go to. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> he just will not stop. Okay, let's go to this one. Sweet potato fries and honey is good. See, I'm not a huge fan of sweet potato fries. I feel like we talked about this earlier. Or like maybe a few weeks ago. Um, but to me, I'm just not a fan of sweet potato fries. One, because I don't really like sweet potatoes in general. But two, first time I tried sweet potato fries was at school, in high school. Actually, maybe middle school? I don't remember. Um... And... They were not good. Ow! Hey, you're with the resistance, right? Are you okay? Oh, uh, you know that explosion that happened in the ruins? The shockwave hit me like... Well, the shockwave, I guess. Knocked my circuits all of whack, but I managed to... Wait a second. You look familiar. Have we met before? Me? No, but lots of your models look alike. Oh, so you two are with Yorha, are you? Um, yes? Why do you want to know? No reason. I mean, I've just heard stories about how advanced you guys are and how kind and... Okay, fine. I need help. Well, sure, I guess. What's the problem? What happened is my friend who was with me on this mission was killed and... I want to retrieve her final moments. <laughs> this broken pod was recording her life log. Think you can get it for me? Okay. Amnesia. Okay. Alright. I just need to do it to extract some images, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck! <laughs> so excuse me.
This is gonna be hard. Nice. Oh, there's one more. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. This time. This time. You extracted the images from the life log. Jesus Christ, what? That was the last entry contained in the life log. I could be wrong, but it looked like two resistance members fighting each other. Was that her? So my friend was killed by the resistance? By one of her own? Easy, we haven't finished fully restoring the data. It won't be complete until we dig into a deeper layer and... No, that's enough. I don't need to know anymore. That person in the red hood killed my friend. She's gonna pay for it. Okay, you aren't wearing red. I was like... Wait! What is it? Wait. Where are you going? To kill the bastard who murdered my friend! Just slow down, alright? We need more data about what happened. Besides, it's dangerous. The killer could be watching you right now, for all we know. Fine then, what do you think I should do? Let me ask around the resistance camp before you go running off. There can't be that many people in Red Hoods after all. Someone must know something. Alright, I can wait for a little while. Hey, and thanks. What was an enemy wearing? What was... was she in a red hood? I cannot remember! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back to the resistance camp. Um... Don't love a sweet potato fry. They found their 100% better... Oh, 100 times better than an air fryer, I say. Well, aren't we generous? Hmm? All this help for no personal gain? I know she's pretty, but... Oh, whoa, 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 it's not like that. I mean, she is pretty, but that... <laughs> it's not... Whatever. <laughs> nice, you're so funny. <laughs> Toopy's like, why don't you call me pretty? Hi, I'm bad and welcome in. Yeah, I, I really like this game. Maybe I just like it a little. It's okay. We need to find someone wearing a red hood. Wearing a red hood? Okay, not an enemy. Oh! Hey, uh... What's up? Hey, say! Nice hood! You make it? <laughs> what? This? No, a girlfriend of mine gave it to me. This is the first time I've worn in public. Do you really like it? Yeah, it's great. In fact, I wish I had one for myself. Do you happen to know where she got it? No, sorry, I didn't think to ask. Do you know where your friend is? Maybe I'll go ask her myself. Man, you really like this hood. Last I heard, she was out at the desert station. She shouldn't be hard to find. I think she's the only woman there. Jackass? Hope you managed to get a hood of your own. Oh, is it, it jackass? Like hood was a gift of some sort. Gifts are such a useless ritual. Wow, okay. Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's rude to give a person something without their permission. What if they don't want it? Mm, I think it's more about the feeling behind it than the actual item, right? 
feelings are prohibited. Girl. Yeah. Girl. No information will suffice. Oh, for the love of. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> they are so silly to me. Oh my god. Hi, Esper. Welcome in. <gasps> Type 4. Oh, fist. Interesting. They're so funny. Girl boss and her male wife. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, did she say the desert camp? Hello, Hello, welcome in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Man. So Tubi's love language is not gift giving. I guess not. I wonder what her her love language would be. Our red hooded target should be in the desert. Stay alert. She could be our killer. But there's only one female resistance member at the desert station. Hmm. hmm. I don't see her. Let's ask that guy over there. I w yeah, I was literally just gonna say quality time, yeah, or acts of service. I feel like nines is definitely quality time and also words of affirmation just because he's like always telling always trying to give compliments to people you know how's that you're looking for a resistance lady oh you must mean jackass huh every time there's an issue old jackass tries to solve it with explosives or some other violent method i think she's off doing geological research in one of the desert caves i'll send you the coordinates if you want Oh, but if you're gonna head out there, just make sure you don't get caught up in one of her explosions, you hear? Ruh row. Um, <laughs> love language is probably not to have one. Listen, listen, she may not have one now, but eventually, eventually she'll realize Okay. Uh, where are we? Okay, we're right here. Amnesia. Oh god, we're gonna go back to that cave thing. Yes, we can fix her. Mm hmm. Nine words of affirmation. He <laughs> just like me for real. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let us fanfic. Let us create our head cannons in our mind. Alright, I'm guessing she's down here. <gasps> oh my god. Right? Stop. I hate this map. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be hell to go through. Oh? Oh wait, we found her! Hey. Excuse me, are you, um, jackass? Who wants to know? We're with Yorha. We're conducting a field investigation. Well, yippee for you. Listen, did you happen to- did you happen to give a red hood to a friend earlier? That red is perfect for our new Yorha colors, so we were hoping to- That little piece of crap. Yeah, I gave it to her. Hell, I never wanted it in the first place. So, it came from someone else originally. Did I stutter? <laughs> yeah, it came from someone else. I bought this stupid thing right after that explosion in the city ruins. Some resistance lady with red hair practically tackled me trying to get me to buy it. I only did it to get her off my case and... Well, and because I thought it might look good on my friend. But if you tell her that, you're dead. 
A red-haired resistance member. Same color as our client's hair. What client? What the hell's going on here? Oh. Uh, nothing. It's just, that's her nickname. The client. That's even stupider than Jackass. That lady was pretty creepy, though. Kept grinning at me like a crazy person. Grinning? Uh, well, thanks for your help. We'll be on our way. I'll say, yeah, Looney. I noticed that as well. They're like, who are you? Kind of interesting. Weird. Alert. The description of a female resistance member with red hair matches that of our client. But if it's the same person, why would she have had the killer's hood? Hypothesis. The red-haired resistance member is either the killer or an accomplice. Mm-hmm. Let's go talk to her. How do I get out of here? Ah, get away from me. Can I leave this way? Yes, okay. All right. Where do I need to go? This way. I know, I don't think I would forget someone that was named Jackass either. How how could you forget that? Maybe it was because she wasn't wearing her red clothing? Like, that's my only thought. Yeah, or you could get it before you meet Jackass, that's true. How you like playing as nines? I really enjoy it. I do enjoy playing, or like, the combat of 2Bs, of 2B better. Um... Just cause like the hacking stuff, <laughs> I can't do it. It's really hard for me a lot, but I'm getting used to it for sure. Okay. Um. Right, we wouldn't we want to go there so either city ruins or the factory or the resistance camp okay resistance camp yeah Wombat, well, you prefer to be in combat as well hacker haters unite Kiva is so tough i wonder what it would be like on easy mode are you getting better solar thank you i try I'm trying my best, I should say. All right, so this lady... This lady killed her friend. That's what I'm gathering. I wanna go... Oh, I forgot. I can't get through that way. Nice. Also, thanks for the files, everyone. Welcome in. Yeah, is it murder? I think so. Up the stairs. Oh. I never noticed that before. Little electrical box. Hey girl, uh, I got some bad news for you. So how'd it go? Did you find that murdering wench in the Red Hood? Not exactly. <laughs> But we did learn that you sold the hood to someone. 
What? Apparently a red-haired resistance member sold the hood after an explosion in the ruins. This doesn't make sense. We're starting to believe you had something to do with the murder. But that's impossible. I don't know anything- I don't know about any of that. Listen, if you- Look, you said there were still some records left in this pod, right? We have to look at them right now. Think about this for a second. I want you to understand what you're asking. You may have killed your own friend. I don't know why or how, but it's possible. I don't care. I have to know the truth. Please. The way Emile's theme <laughs> just starts coming in as he's going, driving around outside. <laughs> oh god. All right. All right, nines. Oops. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Oh, goody. A scar? Examining storage circuits. 88%. 92%. Ninety-eight percent. All right, what are we gonna see? Oh. Now, why did she do that? I, I'm a Type E. Ah, <gasps> are you a Type E? Yora. My function is to seek out and execute deserters and traitors. I disguise myself so I can approach my targets and kill without warning. But one day, I was ordered to kill my friend. So I did. I had my orders and I followed them. It was hard, so hard, and after a while I couldn't live with what I had done. So you erased your own memories. Yes. But this wasn't the first time. I don't like that music change. I've killed comrades, friends, lovers. I've done it more times than I can count. Again and again and again. And he. <laughs> um. Oh, well, you're all. Are you all right? Yes, I am all right. Emil, please. I'm all right. Everything is all right. I am a Yorha type E. E for execution. I follow orders. I kill my friends. And you solved it. Solve the murder. Now I have to pay you. <laughs> Wait, you don't... Do you need a friend killed? A lover? It's my job. My job. My job. Let's go. We got a pod program. Well? That was very disturbing. Type E. <laughs> I didn't know there was such a thing. Did you two be? Some things are better left unknown. Yeah. I suppose so. That's so disturbing. Where's Emil? I don't know where he is. He's gone. He felt the bad vibes coming from that video game. <laughs> I mean, not that video game, that building. Um, we need to unlock this. Hey, get out of there! <sighs> Music is crazy. You don't remember it at all? Oh my god. So dramatic. Yeah, everything's so fine and normal. Mm -hmm. Um... I 
how do I get up there? Oh, there he is! Oh, he's just having so much fun. Oh my god, why are you just standing here? Hey, you're with Yorha, right? Hmm. Look, I know this is a bit out of the blue, but can you help me? I've got something of an emergency on my hand. Seems that some machine lifeforms have stolen several plug-in chips containing classified data. If they realize what they have, we're going to be in big trouble. Three plug-in chips. Okay. So this is a confidential intel quest that I need to do, I'm pretty sure. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. Alright. Thank you. Um... <laughs> should get that tattooed. That'd be funny. Factory tie? Wait, let me go see if it's in the factory. I don't think so. It looks like they're all in the city. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is a factory. Oh my god. Thank god we have to go back to the factory. Okay. I feel like I need to end it here, though. I feel like we also got a lot done today, though. Um, did lots of side quests. They were all pretty great, to be honest. Um, and then I'm going to be live again on Wednesday. And I'll obviously be playing more near. And I think we'll finish up a few side quests and then continue on with the main story. But yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe we're already at the missile mission as well. Okay. What? I'm also... I'm gonna go to this screen. Just so we don't have the scary music. Okay, I'm gonna find someone to raid. Y'all, thank you so much for hanging out today, though. Um, again, I'll be live on Wednesday. Let me see who is online and who we can go say hi to. If you want to stick around for a raid, I'd really appreciate it. We can go send our love over to someone else. You can copy the raid message and then paste it into their chat when we get over there. Uh, also, big shout out to the mods today. Let's see. Oof, I don't know who to raid. Let's go read Emily. I feel like I have not been able to read Emily in so long. Emily is currently doing a tipathon, and it looks like she is playing Palia? Palia? I think it's Palia right now. Um, but again, thank you all so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Again, I'll be live on Wednesday with more near. I think we might finish Place or B on Wednesday. And that scares me. That scares me a lot. Uh, yeah, I can get you guys a link. There's a link if you get left behind. Let me copy the raid, me raid message myself. And then I will say bye to all of you. Um, Leech, thank you for hanging out. Uh, you, hi, Looney, Flip, Cole, Kai, Haley, Clay, Spidey, Yang, Brown Coat, uh, Marion, Cupid, Isfari, Solar. Thank you to my mods for hanging out. Jay, thank you, Chris, Eluna. Thank you for the follow stay. Thank you for the subs, for the resubs. I appreciate y'all. But go send your love over to Emily. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a wonderful start to your week and take care. Okay, bye. Bye bye bye. Oh, that is the wrong screen. <laughs> okay, goodbye.